Hi everyone. Miss late as usual. My defense. I actually got up on time. I just uh, started gathering a few things for today and then yeah. Time goes by quick. <laughs> so wait for everybody to come in. I'm gonna eat my yogurt. Kathy be here in a little bit. She just woke up. She overslept. We're sleepy heads, I tell ya. We're sleepy heads today. I'm looking forward to sharing my progress in my book. Anyone watching the recording, if you're not interested in this part of the video, just fast forward. Hi, Lori. Hi, Tori. How you doing? Not done with this book, but I've made a lot of progress, so. Hi, Kat. Thanks, son. We are doing well. I hope you are, too. Other than going to the grocery store. That's all I've been doing. <laughs> Staying put. Hi, Dot. Hi, Janet. Hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Lena. It's gloomy here today. I think it's supposed to rain part of the day today. I like the sun. We've been having some sunny weather and, and this week and warm and this week was cold and I think we're going to get some warm weather next week. I'm looking forward to that. I've been having to walk inside again because it's been cold. I got spoiled. I got used to walking outside and I've been back to walking inside and um, Next week, I hope to get to walk outside again. So I am sticking to it. I am walking still and um, trying to get in shape, stay, you know, get healthy. And uh, sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate. So, and so I like to work out in the basement. It's just not, you know, it's not finished basement, so let's put it that way. Staring at the concrete walls is not near as uh, mind stimulating as is walking down the road and at least looking around getting fresh air. I have, I can uh, set my laptop up and watch that. Thank God Tom set that up for me, so I would be so bored. Talking on the treadmill is very boring. Hi, Teresa. So I can watch lives and and recordings and stuff when I'm walking. Because otherwise I would just be, uh, be, yeah, I can't stand it. I did say hi to Dar, I hope. But I didn't miss her. Hi, Adi Popo. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. I do will do is I can show you. Um, I finished this. Yeah, I put this on Instagram. This is uh, the book um, that I did the denim pocket and um, painted on it. 
and um, and then I was doing a crackle paste grungy thing so I did this one and then I just did this one and then I did this one with uh, with Eileen this is the third page in it and this is one I just uh, did a lighter version this time and I used the platinum crackle some stickers from the book um, some old uh, typewriter buttons that uh, Tom pulled off typewriters years ago. And um, some old images out of some books. And kind of grunged it up with some wax. My book smells good. I'll give you that. You see I put some wax on there. And went into the cracks. So... I used the uh, matte black, Finnabar matte black, and that turned out pretty good. I mean, it went right in there. I was trying to keep it off the flowers. This is a old flower sticker, and I covered it with paste. And, um, yeah, the wax goes into the platinum crackle and stuff really nice. I also have the other one, uh, the copper and the platinum, but it, the wax goes into that really nicely. And I used a matte wax with this shiny crackle. I thought it would be a nice complimentary to it to have the, the shiny and the doll. Hi, Jilly. Hi, Judy. Hi, Helen. Thanks, Eileen. Yeah, so I worked on this one. I've kind of, I have, you know, 800 projects going on at once. And, um, as always, and, but I worked on this, um, this one, the, in this book, the downside with the crackle paste is you got to put it on and you got to let it dry. And it's better if you just let it dry naturally instead of heat gunning it. And, um, so then I don't work too, you know, it's hard to work on these on stream without having this part done ahead of time, which means I have to have my images picked out ahead of time. And the only thing you'd be watching me do is put the wax on top of it. And, um, you know, I mean, that would be the only part of the process that you would see. And I don't know how exciting that is, but I can at least show you the end result. But I love the fin Finnabar wax. Um, and that crackle. I really do. It's really cool. Um, so now, so my, you know, I've got a few pages done in this one. So, but you see, I look how it looks. <laughs> so um, I need to go and start working in the back of my book next for my book buckles. Work in the back of my book. And in the middle of my book before I start working in the front anymore. Because you can see. I mean, this is happening because this is sketch paper. It's thick sketch paper, but you, you know, it's yeah. I'm gonna have to skip around in the back, in the middle. Don't work front to back, cause you'll kill your spine. So, yeah. So that's why I'm gonna have to take my own advice and make sure I work in the back of the book next time. But I was kind of being like, I had all these, and I skipped a page. I was like, but I skipped a page. I need to go back and do it. Yeah. So. And um, I got the new summer set. It's nice and fluffy, is right, Dee Dee? Hi, Kathy. And um, I was, uh, I put this on Facebook. A lot of you probably have seen it. But um, I posted this on Diana's thing, and I and I told her congratulations on your article and your summer set. And she's like, "What?" So I don't know, like, how long they keep your things and before they put them in. But her her article is transform uh, trash into texture for your art. Hi, Brenda. Oh, glad we don't have snow. It's we're gonna have rain. Um, and I um I got a subscription to this um because Eileen gets a subscription to this, and you know her and I have that connecting houses thing going on. Yeah. 
So I had to get a subscription to it. This on the front is Laylee Millie, and um, she was in Life Book and um, Everything Art last year. Plus, she has classes on her website. And um, anyway, so I was flipping through, and I found found eyes. Well, I didn't know this was hers until I got it. Until I see a blue on me from yesterday. Until uh, I got into the book. And when I got into the book, I found it. And then I, and she didn't even know it was published. She's like, I don't even know what to say. I didn't even know they published it. So she was, yeah. So this is Diane's article. So you all know about the, where she's been working on all the ATCs. You have your AC on, Kelly. Send some snow your way. <laughs> Kelly has her AC on and Brenda's getting snow. Hi, Kimberly. This weather is crazy. Oh, Kathy's had snow the past couple of days. Hi, CB. Oh, snow. I, mean, I That's hard to take in the springtime. Just saying. I was really sad about your little birds, Kathy. I love my I love feeding my birds outside. As you know, I have lots of feeders. Tom made me condense down to one pole feeders instead of two. It's I'm like, no, because it's killing the grass. I'm like, I don't care. Um so this is her ATCs. This and uh, Diane Fargo. She is hacker die, is as we know her, but her her uh, YouTube channel is Diane Fargo. Fago, and she has now um, cards and stuff. And I should put this up on a wall so I can look at it. Uh, she, I asked, and she started this to send me an ATC, and she did. And um, she put it in this pretty little protective uh, thing, which I didn't even know they had. You can see all the crackles and stuff. And then on the back, she put her card. So these are her business cards. And um, so anyway, so I have one of the cards that was part, I guess, part of that group. So I have mine hanging up on the wall, laying on, on the front of me to look at. And then inside, she talks about here the stuff that she used. And, um, and here it. Uh, it has uh, the wrote down what you used on each one. So you can see drywall tape, packaging, paper punches. So she has uh, netting. Um, I love this one with the corrugated board. So she has all the recycled things that she used and she drew a line, you know, like that helps throw the lines drawn to it. And then this um, is the article. That she has a little and down there. So there's Diane. And then Diane was also Diane was also published in this one, the New Art Journaling Magazine. She was published in this one too. Let me find it. This one. And this one she let's see. They don't have her on a cover. Let's see. One less. No. But she's, of course, in the index. So, as everybody, right? So, she's in the index. But her article, I can't remember. So, this is called The Pencil Journal by Diane. Isn't this wonderful, Kimberly? Right? Hi, Carolyn. I mean, it's just, it's just beyond wonderful. It really is. And so this, and this is her article, The Pencil Journal. And she discussed the, the, uh, she the, art, the how she liked cast to have a pencil with her and uh, everything behind the story. She talked about when she barbed an interview with her. She talked about her love of her pencil and her mechanical pencil and with her father and stuff like that. So anyway, if you um, watch Barb Owen's designs, I don't know where, you know, you're going to, have to scroll through her videos, but you'll see that Packer Dye came and visited her and she did like an interview with her 
and she shows um, one of her uh, kind of like uh, journals that she has. And, she, you know, so if you ever want to, uh, you know, plus Diane has a YouTube channel, but you can see that interview with Barb Owens with Diane. It wasn't that long ago, but you can see how many pages she has in here in this one. So then the other one, like I said, so she got some uh, article on this one published and an article in this one published. So kudos. I'm so, I'm so excited for her. I really am. I'm just not awake. I don't sound excited, but I am. I'm just not awake. I'm not awake. So I'm trying to get awake. All right. So I want to show you guys that. Hey, Dot. No, the one, the one in the art journaling magazine is a very long article. Uh, very long article. The one in the other one, is, it just basically talks about Diane being married and um, having your five kids and, you know, a little bit about herself. But they're both wonderful. I love both of them because I love the plain, simple one that she has. I also love the colorful ATC she did because, my, like I said, I love all kinds of art. So uh, Kathy's here and I'll pop her in. Good morning. I am also waking up. Yes, you especially are waking up. I got up at 9.15 when I stream at 10. <laughs> so, oh, I got up, at, I woke up, it was like 5 to 10. And I, I'm telling you, I, I streamed with Brooke on Tuesday. I think we switched sleeping hours because she's been getting up early all week. I've been sleeping till like 10 and 11 o'clock. <laughs> uh so how are you today yeah i'm good i think I'm, I'm waking up i'm doing good kind of like uh, uh as usual I was, um, I was watching you do the flip through of the magazines and i love diane's art that they showed in there i do too and she did and it, what was really fun for me was the fact that uh she didn't know she was published in it because they usually i guess will send you a free magazine or you know a, a letter or something and i guess with everything going on maybe they didn't get to do that and she didn't even know i was the first to tell diane she was in the magazine oh that's so funny i felt like it was so cool because she's like what i know <laughs> Like, now, my article made it on the, and then their article made it on the cover. So she was really happy that her article made it on the front cover. I and you know what? I love her collage and her journaling and everything. I do too. I do. I love. Yeah, as I said, I love. Uh, I love this one. The simplicity of this one. I love the article and the simplicity of that one. And I also love the colorful, fun. Um, recycle one of this one and I was excited because I feel honored I got to uh, I got to tell Diane about her article being published and she's like I didn't even know what to say. I didn't even know they published it oh that's fun got now, where did you um, where did you get your magazines are you subscribed to both of those I was subscribed to Somerset Studio because this one is definitely harder for me to find in my area yeah and um, so this one's harder to find. So uh, I sometimes we get this from uh, Joggles, but this was sold out on Joggle. When I saw that they had it, they were already sold out, and I was glad that um, I had a subscription to this one. And I got this about, I think, three or four days after Joggles had it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so yeah, I've been looking. I, I can't find it. Yeah, you can't. That's why. I, that's why I got a subscription with this one. What's the other one you get from them, Eileen? Because I, I really need to get the. I this one I um, ordered directly from um, them because they one I can't shop. And two, I didn't know if I'd find it or not. I love the peacock on the front. It's gorgeous, and. Um, so I ordered this from them, and I knew if I get a subscription, I won't get, the, I won't get these, you know, magazine till the next round. You don't get the one that's immediately out. You get the next round. 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, be getting those prescriptions. Prescription. Oh, good Lord. So I, know. <laughs> I have one for this one. I'm going to get one for this one because these are the two I always buy. Those are the ones I like. And Eileen just said that the subscriptions are on sale right now. Oh, they are? Yeah, I'll have to. I'll do that today then. Hey, what's your second? I know you get Somerset Studio, right, Eileen? And then what's your other one that you get? I've got different ones. Like I'll pick up if um, like Sam's Club gets discounted magazines. Sometimes I find Daphne Diaries. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I find the uh, paper books there. And other, I, I find the uh, Green Craft and some of the other um, Somerset or yeah, Somerset magazines. But this one has papers in it, which is makes it a little bit uh, different than other ones because they'll have uh, papers. You can tear out and use your art, which is nice. And uh, the one they have in here, excuse me, is the Laley is in here. So yeah. Yes, Brenda, we're getting snow. We're supposed to get four inches of snow. Has it started by you? And Brooke, were you up early this morning? Because I didn't get up until 10 o'clock. So I have completely switched my hours. <laughs> let me turn my... Uh, oh, and I need to... Uh, you want to take me off screen, Colleen? I've got to fix my camera. It's upside down. Okay. Right, turn my light down and get too much glare. Okay, so in the summer set, they have this. This is uh, the paper, and it's all like perforated. So you tear these out. Hi, Brooke. She's ruining you. You're waking up at 7.53 every morning. <laughs> I know, and I'm waking up at between 10 and 11. This is this on the article. This one is a Maley's. And then you get this one was in there. And this one. Look at all these that was in here. This one. This one. The sam these are samples of other people's art. So you couldn't sell these, but you could use these in your own art, obviously. You can, you know, if you're not selling it, you're fine, but you would not be able to use this as your own or try to sell it. But you could um, use this in your own personal artwork as long as you're not selling it. So, so where are those from, Colleen? There's all these papers. Okay, this is from something else. This is all from Somerset. Okay, I think I'm fixed. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Sorry about that. Hey, everybody. So I wanted to uh, do a couple things. I'm going to do a quick flip through of my fishy book and then um, work on some uh, tracing paper things. And then I also want to do a technique that Amber... Uh, what's your name? Amber K. Creative did, and I want to try it. It looks really cool. So I want oh, to try it. And um, so y'all saw where I put the rice paper and the gears. Okay, go ahead and put yours big so they can see yours, and I'll do a quick flip of mine when you're done. Okay. So let's see. Hello. Okay, so um, I'm working on the fishy caboodle with rosemary, and so I got the rice paper. This again is a Dollar Tree book I found. This is uh, how it was just because uh, it's it was a recipe book. It has the sardine cans on here, which is perfect. I bought the book, all the images. I added um, my alcohol ink tracing paper. And, and some article and some images out of a marine book. And for the, this one uh, was in it. And then I added some uh, tissue paper, um, 
I got over it Tuesday morning, so a long time ago. Um, this was in it, and so I left it. And then this is an alcohol ink tracing paper. I, I adhered down. All these are, and I made these probably a year ago at least. But I finally found a use for them, and I love this one because these fish are, are like a, a, actually a really pretty blue and purple. So I actually was able to use my purple paper. Oh, what, and, kind of, what kind of paper is the jelly print on, Colleen? Um, this one is tracing paper. Cool. Hi, Peggy. And so this one you all saw, already showed you, did this with um, Technique with Rosemary. And this was a jelly print, and this was um, Infusions um, on the jelly plate. And then you saw this, I added again more of the alcohol ink um, tracing paper on that side. And then this was also, don't you, thank you, Brooke. The puppet's so fun. Hi, Sandra. Hi, hey, Johnny. And um, this one is a jelly uh, jelly print too. And I don't. Uh, this one again is the infusions because you can see the browns and stuff. The the walnut stain that's in it. And Those are awesome. I guess assuming acrylic mixed in with it. And since she's cutting up fish, which is really gross. Like I don't know, she's preparing the sardines or whatever. <laughs> so I just put this over here because it was yucky. It looks kind of muddy and messy, and this looks gross. So <laughs> I went out with the job to like deal the, the fish and the sardines. Hey, it's Colleen, sorry, to, this is very important. Johnny sent us an invoice for onion skin paper. Yay! Okay. Yay. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> no, uh, um, I will do that as soon as I get off of here. I will pay it. Um, I have it on my laptop and I don't have to keep keying in, key, key in it, keying in my password and upstairs I don't have my password. And then I have to end up going, yeah, so if I got to go down and get my password book, I might as well just do it on my laptop. I oh, will good. I'm very excited. Things. Yeah, I will do that as soon as I get off because I'm excited. Thank you. So glad we got that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll pay that as soon as I get off of here. I'm excited about that. Um, this was just, I added the, um, this was where we stamped the fish um, on the tracing paper. And this was the starfish that we did the technique on. And then I just added some um, paper or whatever I had. And again, and those look like Japanese slippers. Lena was completely right. They do look like Japanese uh -huh. slippers. Oh, that's okay. I appreciate you letting me know because I haven't checked my email today. And I will pay it today because I'm, I'm in a rush to get it. <laughs> I got the last, we got the last two packs. Woo, woo. We can play. Oh, them. thank you. Yay. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get it. So I'm going to pay for it. So. Jelly prints at the moment. Jelly printing is really addictive. Um, I added this on here. Kind of added boo boo tear, so we'll have to cover that up. But I'm going to collage. I'm going to do some reverse collage on this. Oh, uh, fine. Plan for this. I haven't started it yet. Um, again, I added the tissue paper. This is also in the same pack. Tissue paper, and I thought it, this is kind of pinky, but as close as I could get. I added that there. And then this one I did. This is um, a calendar page. And I used my, um, I, it, it was a really fun technique of using the Secura pens, gel pens, and going around all the images. And then you heat the gel pen up. And when you heat the gel pen up, after you put it down, you heat it up, it, it changes color and it glows. This is the coolest technique. And then you add the, and then I just added white pen. So it took me forever to go in and do it because I have to like 
heat it while it's still wet and did each one like the starfish and the bubbles added some to the crab and to the fish you know the turtle i mean every little bit got touched i used a gel pen and a white and also a white gel pen and then i added the words and doodled and then yeah so that was that one i love this because it looks like a black light so i really had fun with this page this took a long time but it's easy so it's funny how it's funny how a page can take a long time but be easy and then something be quick and be difficult like these i used um i used a souffles Secura, my camera's not focusing. Secura souffles. Okay, so that's why you. I use. love how those turn. That's awesome. How'd you find that, Colleen? The, find the image? No, that technique of heating it with. The I watch. Uh, I I found it watching Allie Brown. Oh, okay. I had never seen that before. Yeah, I had neither. I watch 8 million, I have like, I don't know, seven, 800 people I follow on YouTube. <laughs> watch YouTube videos when I'm walking on the treadmill and everything else. So yeah, I saw Allie Brown use that. I thought that was really cool. So this I left, I left this on purpose because what I'm gonna do here, you need, I think, oh, and I add a piece of rice paper over here which matched him and then i'm going to add stuff on top of these but what i'm going to do with this section of pages is i think i'm going to do a pocket technique it's in one of my books where you fold and make pockets and then add tags and um and then uh you like Allie brown too brenda yeah i do too Oh, thank you. She posted Johnny's link. Thanks, uh, thanks for doing that. Okay, he's doing that for me. She's a she's a mod and a streamer. <laughs> she's good. So this is a napkin that I got from Rosemary, and then these are some digi fish I downloaded. This was the um, chipboard that I embossed and waxed and stamped. So uh, this was uh, part of. This was in the kit, the fish, this fish was, this was part of her kit. And look, I put the little like mechanical leg with the fish fins in his mouth. Uh, this is some washi tape I had, and this was her image. Now I just went around with um, a gel pen and what I've been keeping on my desk and using, these are the inexpensive ones, but um, I have, I have colored, I have uh, watercolor pencils of, um, all different ones, so all different brands. I probably have from expensive all the way down to cheap. So I have like at least three, four brands of watercolor pencils. Even I have Prisma watercolor pencils. So, but these are the Karen Dosh, and I got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and they work really nice. I didn't actually end up, I didn't actually wet these. I just used them dry because they're on my desk. But it's fun to use some colored pencils sometimes, you know, and it's a no sweat. So I just basically took uh, the background and I use, um, oh, shoot, where is it? Oh, I use this. I went around with, um, I went around with the Windsor Newton watercolor marker. And then I just took a, I wet a pen and wet it. And because uh, this already had gesso all over it and then wet it and then just spread the uh, watercolor marker ink around and then did the pencils on top. This one, I like this one I had done the other day, but what I changed was, so this one uh, was a dock and I used uh, the Woody, Sibilia Wood, Woody's, and I colored the water and I made it green. 
Um, I, these were in the kit, I think, and I added the fish and on here to kind of go with the kind of go with the murky the murky water. Hi, Devin. And um, and then these are art by Marlene girls that I added, and then I just did a, a rainbow and some little clouds around them, and just all I did just had fun with it. So I just um, oh, that's cute. I just I don't know why I decided to have a rainbow. I don't know. I did it, and uh, oh, and then I just did a little stencil with some acrylic paint here and with a little bit of coral. I didn't go crazy with it. Um, but yeah, I just, but coloring the water in, you know what, I, I got to change, I got to take back what I did. Actually, I need to color this in. I forgot this area. Ooh, I'm slipping. I show you, I lied. I didn't use the secure, the woodies. I'm thinking the other one. I did the, uh, frescoes. Oh, those are the frescoes. I, oh, I used the frescoes, but now I'm uh, looking at it. I missed this part. This part's still brown. Okay. Note to self. I gotta go back and fix that. <laughs> okay, so I missed this part of the water. I used my frescoes and I used the um, one that was translucent. One of the colors, so some are opaque and some, that's what I used, the fresco paints on here and then the fish. So I used the woodies for most of the oriental book. So, and then you guys saw this where I made the pocket that was in the altered book and this is tracing paper, alcohol inks. I also worked on this page, and this is um, this is from a, a map, a old map I had, like a National Geographic map, and I cut these out. I just traced them with white pen. This was already here. I stamped this. This is from the Jane Davenport stamps. Um, then these guys I I stamped as well. And then I just colored them in with uh, with marker with some Poscas. Um, this is a uh, I this is a stencil girl stencil that I colored in, and then this is also a stencil girl um, background stencil. So um, I thought the pages tied in quite nicely. I love the I love this color of uh, I use in the background. This is. Um, Blue, I think it's called Blue Gray by Liquitex Ink. Oh, that's Liquitex really pretty. Pink. I love that color. And it matched the whales so nicely. This is a Blue Gray Liquitex paint pens, collage this down. And the silver, I think, was, I can't remember what the silver was I use now. Sorry, I can't remember. Um, then I worked on this a little bit with Jersey and Popo and um, I try to make it like Dee Dee version of it like with the like cool with the <clears throat> okay. Brooks been enabled. Okay. Did a jelly plate and some paper make a fishy journal but yours will be marine pirate and mermaid journal cool Brenda oh fun okay. Brenda Hi, Debbie. And she's in. I hope there's someone else I missed coming. Oh, hi, Ann. I missed you coming in. Sorry if I missed you coming in. While I'm looking down at the book, it's hard to it's hard for me to keep up with chat. Um, yeah. So this is my Dee Dee version. So this was a ocean, sunny sky. It had a fishing boat sitting here, and I darkened the sky. I added a calendar uh, castle from Ireland or someplace. I uh, found one that was small enough to fit. Did the moon and the splats and I don't know. I tried doing this spooky, you know, where you put the paint in your hand and you do the fog and stuff and it doesn't look as, I can't you show it, but I, I think it's my touch or something. I still do it as well as Dee Dee, but she's been doing it a long time. As she That's said. awesome reverse collage, Kelly. That looks really good. But I hope to get, I would love to get better at the fog. The fog and the, like she'll do the ghosties and the fog. And I, I do still struggle with that. I did fill in the little windows with, thanks, Dee Dee, with some gold um, gel pens. These are just um, gold gel pens. And then I just filled them in with gold and did little flicks like there were lights on at the castle. 
and then I went in here afterwards and I just cut up I put the statues and these are from Anderson's book these are from her book this I don't know if that was from her book and then I just went in with some glitter just to kind of add some interest to it like uh, there it is some some um, this is uh, Arteza mica paint I put that in there that's what we gave it that sheen so I used some of that just for fun so that was my DD floating statues so when I did this was the idea that the this was some underwater you know um I because I actually have a book with some um uh, uh where they find the underground cities and so my thought was that the castle emerged from it was an underground city and it popped out of the ocean was floating on top and these were the statues that were down with it and they came up and they're floating on top and um so that was my that's my story so when you do reverse collage um you kind of create a story and you paint your own story and you cover up part of it and you keep part of it of the image and you create a story so that's my story this is a sunken city that floated up top in the ocean so that's, that's really great that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> this one y'all saw, I think what I would like to do with this one, the alcohol uh, ink paper, some images out of some books. So I think I might do with my Marlene girl is I like what you did. I don't have the same stuff as you, but I definitely think I might do some glitter stuff on her dress. So oh, I, I got that, Colleen. I got the name for you. It's the um, Folk Art Glitterific Polka Dots. Glitterific Polka Dots. Because someone wanted to know what you were using. And I did tell them Folk Art. Glitterific yes. Polka Dots. Okay. Because that's what I need. Because I want to do, I want to glitter. I think I will do, I like to how you glittered up your girl. So I think I'm going to glitter her up. So I think I'm going to do that. And um, I left. This one was here. This was just a digi print I found in my stash. And then I added the lighthouse over here. I don't know how I'm going to make this work. But my thought at this point is um, I kind of regretted putting this down, but it is already there. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take her hair and I think I'm going to paint her hair across here and just carry her hair on into this to kind of make the two make sense. And that's oh, why that would be cool. Yeah, because they don't make sense. But um, that's why I put this over here with the red lighthouse to pick up the red heart that's over here. And then there's a little bit of green grass here, which picks up a little green on her. So I think I'm going to do is kind of do like the, the Jane Davenport flowy hair thing. And I think I'm going to flow her hair over here. And then I think I'll put like some seashells and stuff in her hair. Oh, that'll be cute. Yeah. So I think that's how I'm going to make her make sense. <laughs> okay, that'll blend it all together. That's cool. But this is uh, I left this one blank because I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do there yet. This one I added again, another page from the Marine book. Oh, thanks, Devin. It's it, I think part of it um, is figuring out what you want to do. You know, high art and destiny creations. Um. I, and uh, uh, if you want to tell me your name, it'd be great. That all because it'd be easy for me to say your name. If not, I can call you Art and Destiny Creations too. Art and Destiny. Am I, I saying, am I saying that right? Art and Destiny. I just said to her, Colleen, last night. She was at Brooks. She's just uh, she's she has a channel and streams. Art and Destiny. Oh, she does. Okay, Art and Destiny. Okay, she has a channel too. Well, I know I can't follow her here. Ella, you can't follow her on YouTube. Do they fix it? Oh. I know. I'll send you the link, Colleen. Her name's Kay. Her name's Kay. Kay. Thank you, Kay, and welcome. Let me write. I'm gonna write your. Art in the city. I'm gonna oh. write your channel name down so I can look for you afterwards. I and love I having new people to follow. Um. And I think, I, hey, are you doing something, um, and uh, not a fundraiser, but some art thing for the uh, quarantine time or something? I just caught part of that conversation at Brooks last night. Or that could be something else. I can't, I wasn't sure. 
But go to check out her channel. She's got a ton of videos, Colleen. K is pronounced art in the city. Oh, art in the city. And you just did a cute with duh, D A. Oh, okay. Got it. Art in the city. <laughs> I'm not from the city, can you tell? <laughs> from New York. <laughs> I'm from Kentucky. We will just we will just take we will just take something and just cut it up into pieces. <laughs> this is uh jelly uh, some jelly prints. Okay, oh. she's gonna make simple tins for Elmhurst Hospital. Okay, she has a video on that. Go check out her channel, guys. Cool. Simple tens. All oh, for a hospital. That's nice. So I left extra pages in here because I want to do some. I want. Um, I want to do some fun techniques for altered books. And um, so I'm leaving a few pages here and there to do some altered uh, altered techniques. And this book is my goal. So we're gonna do some altered books. And um, then I added again some, uh, this was scrapbook paper, complemented the pictures over here. Now I had, again, I have that. Part of it is doing the background and part of it is then going back in and adding the fish and you know reverse collage or whatever you want to do with it. it. Took me hours just to get backgrounds in this book. So there's my mermaid. So I have her in here. I don't know how much more I'm gonna, you know, I think on her, I really like doing the glowing pencil. I shall do it real quick on part of her. You guys can see it, which is probably what I'm going to do with her too. Let's oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, let me show you real quick. Um, rabbit trail. Hold on. <laughs> let me get it working. Well, try not to, Popo. Popo said, "Don't enable it. Don't enable till she gets back." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll try. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Kay. So did you add that picture, Colleen, or was that in there? I added it. Oh, that's cool. Is that, was that a, uh, what was that, a calendar? Or did that come from another book? As a calendar. Cool. Yeah, as a mermaid calendar. And then you take your heat gun. Flares. Always bad with magazines. Hold on. And as you heat the souffle pen. It pops. That is so cool. It just change. It it, it starts. It change. It change. It starts glowing. It it is very cool, and it only works with the souffle. It doesn't work with the other pens. Because the souffle pens, I guess, are meant for um, uh, more of night. You know, like. <laughs> Poke it to her meeting. She's already enabled. Who makes those? Are those Sakura? These are secure. Are these are secure. Are these neat? Uh, so you just put it on and then you heat it up and then um, it glows. It's like magic. Let me see. Uh, let me check out. Let me see if Amazon has any. Amazon has, Amazon has it because that's where I bought it. So, who else I bet has it? Um, I wonder, I bet Jet Pence has them too. I'll check on I Jet wish Pence. There was, they only have one set on Amazon, but I don't know is if there's other colors. Because if there is, I want the other colors. Right. I just have the set on Amazon, but I'm unsure if that's the only ones they have or if there's other colors. So you can see it's like it's blue. And then oh, can I can't put the link on. Oh, here, maybe here. Let's see if that works. Oh, the link is too big on Amazon. Go to Amazon and look up uh, Sakura Souffle pens, and I'll check Jet Pens and see. You don't have to have anything special um, as far as heat gun goes. Just use whatever heat gun you use. Now, if you feel like this one, I feel like I needed to 
add a, I didn't quite put enough on, then I can just actually just go back over it, which I did that numerous times with the other one. I felt like it didn't work. I just went back in, added it. You can see it's blue. Or to see it's blue. And then when you heat it up, it turns. It glows. I, it looks like there's just that set of 10, Colleen. That's what um, that everyone has. Years. So I wanted to show you guys that. I'm having trouble getting this one to heat. Don't make me a liar. So, um, yeah, just heat up the gel pen and then it, it just starts glowing. It's, it's just really, it's just really neat. I don't, I don't know why it does that or how it does it. I don't know anything about, like, I don't know anything about the science about, but it, it does, I, I think, you know, it just could work on lighter paper. I'm not sure. I've used it on like these underwater pictures. So, and I was using the blue and that would work with any of the, um, that should work with any of the colors. So, so you could go in like here, let me get the ink going. We use it on her lips. Hey, Colleen, I think that's set. That's all the colors that they have. That's all, okay, that's, that's that's all there is. Okay. And then um, Helen put in a link for Amazon and I've got the one for jet pens. So she has blue lips. I love how that, I can't believe what a difference that makes heating it. Yeah. So just go, yeah, just go in and you can, you can, you know, I can light up her boobs down here. Or like if you look here, she has um on this she has fish scales on her arm right here. Oh, you and can give her like tattoos and stuff. Yeah, so you could give her tattoos, add some like, you know, add some additional and then I actually went in on top of the top. Of, so it's just really fun to play with. This is like I said, a calendar page. Oh, she could have little bubbles coming up. Oh, yep. And then you, exactly. I mean, it, it's just really fun. I spent like hours working on that one page, and it. But it was because I have to like draw, heat, draw it, heated, draw it, heated. So I mean, it takes a little bit because you have to heat gun everything. But seriously, fun. Like, look how she is. she's glowing now. Oh, I love that. She just pops out even more. I'd like to try those for, you know how I do that scribble scrabble? That might be fun too. Yeah, you love the different things you do with magazines. Yeah, I have um, Dee Dee got me, uh, got me started with collage. So um, with uh, magazines, books, and calendar images. And it's so much fun. And it's, it's just, you know, you're, there's no, um, your imagination can go and soar. You can do whatever, you know, I mean, there's no limits to it. And I think that's what's so fun. So, yeah, so I wanted to, so if y'all are interested in to, you know, doing this, this works really good. You can see, make sure it's dry before I close my book. So then again, I just added some anchor paper next to this was already in the book. A lot of these images were already in this recipe, is a fish recipe book from the dollar store. Again, I left some blank pages so I could still do some other techniques. And then this one again was um, already in here. And this again, I just had all my alcohol ink uh, images. Now this one, I was disappointed. This one was a counter image and it wrinkled really bad. And I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to, to really work on this one. But this one, I will do some reverse collage in as well. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to cover it up the sky. Well, hopefully when I blacken the sky, the creases will look less. But if not, what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna take, this is where mixed media is fun. And you can take all these little creases that happen when I put the calendar down. And what I'm gonna do is make a lightning storm. So that's how you make a, that's how you, what, what's the term, make a mountain out of a molehill or whatever. Like, you know, you can just kind of, like some people like make a big deal out of something. Well, I kind of look at, and well, don't quote me in art, 
I'm making an area, making these, you know. Oh, that would be uh, cool, Colleen. So, like, I could take, basically take take the boo-boo that happened. At the time, I was super frustrated that it crinkled. But then I was like, well, this is what we do as artists. You cover up your mistakes. You fix your mistakes. Or you go with the flow, right? Screw it, do it, go with the flow. <laughs> and I can make this in a lightning bolt. So I decided that what I could do is make this a lightning storm and just use all these little creases to my advantage and make it like a lightning storm happening around the lighthouse. So that then I felt a lot better because I'm like, I'm just going to make a lightning storm. Now, would I have made a lightning storm and, and it's on this reverse collage? No, but now I have all these lines. I was like, oh, I'm going to make it into a lightning storm. Oh, that'll be cool. Stormy night at the lighthouse. It's gonna be raining and lightning bolts coming down. So that's oh, how you use the souffle pens. Exactly. And use the souffle pens for my and there is a white one. So I haven't tried the white on there. Devin. Okay, Devin said that's a great creative spark. <laughs> Isn't it? Devin. <laughs> So, you know, like I was like, my, I was, I was a little frustrated. I was like, what did I do wrong? But I guess it's kind of like some, this might have been a dollar store calendar. So the difference is like this calendar would, would have been one that I would get at the store and pay a little bit more money for. Not mm -hmm. much more, maybe six bucks. That's about the most I ever pay for a calendar. But then like this one came from the Dollar Tree, I think. And the Dollar Tree ones have great images. Don't get me wrong. That's where my book came from was the Dollar Tree. But um, they're thinner, like a, like a Better Homes and Gardens or whatever, like a cheaper magazine. And then they crinkle. They can crinkle when you put them down really easy because it's just a thinner, like less expensive paper. And so basically I decided that um, after I went down, I was like, well, it's there. I could, I could cover this up with a whole nother image, right? A whole nother calendar page is cover the sucker up. Could gesso the crap out of it. You could cover it up with another one. And I was like, nope, I'm going to make a lightning storm. Yeah, so just go with it. Sometimes those are the best things. And it might be that this might be my favorite one in the book. Time I get done my, my, right. It, you know, having a lightning storm. I haven't done a reverse collage of lightning storm. So that's that's where I'm at. And then some of these, I don't know what I'm gonna put on the other side. Um I'm gonna I do want to make some tag pockets. So this is um over here. Again, I'm gonna reverse collage over this one. And I don't know what I'm doing with all of them. That's like this one's done. I won't do anything with this. I'll leave that. And so some of these might not need much at all. You know, I may just go in like I did here and add some bubbles and napkins and, you yeah, know. just a little doodling and stuff. Yeah, that so book is awesome. So every page is different style. I don't have the whole book done in a theme. Um, like I said, that's why I loved about the Asian book is I did something different on each one. Some are like unrealistic and more realistic and or this is, you know what I mean? And this one's uh -huh. like spooky. So I decided that I think that's why I think it's fun because I like variety. And like this one, I might just have some fish floating around in here. I don't know. So we'll figure it out. And this one, you know, I may just work over here and put over here. I might write. I think this one, I thought about journaling on this page. And since it's in the front. Oh, that would be cool. And then you all saw the back with the fish with the rice paper. And I think I'm going to write on here the date. And that um, this is, you know, Rosemary's Fishy Caboodle Kit inspired um, altered book. And then just kind of write about it and then write about Kathy and I, you know, Kathy's working on it. Kathy's doing this with me and stuff like that. And I think I'm just going to journal about it because once I'm finished with this book and you put it back on the shelf, you know what I mean? And you get this out years later. I'm not going to exactly remember the time frame I did this or what was inspired by it. You know what I mean? But, um, but I'm going to journal about it, I think, over here. And then just leave this as is because it's beautiful. These two just couples holding hands and they're underwater and they're snorkeling together. So, or whatever. Oh, that's fun. That's, that turned out so good, Colleen. And I still want to do some things. I still want to do the little keychain, do that off the corner, you know, with stuff hanging off of it and stuff like that. I ordered some seashells to work to do the 
wire seashell thing, whereas Mary talked about doing. But um, I don't know if I'm going to get them because of um, I'm, I don't know if they're coming where they're coming from. But there's like a delay thing on Amazon, or when I'll get them, or if I'll get them. So because of circumstances. So that's kind of like it is what it is. Um, it's not the end of the world. I will get the seashells at some point. So. Well, that's a good idea, Sandra. She said and when you're making your notes, add the um, the date of the videos, too, that go oh, along with the book. Oh, my gosh, that's really good idea. Not a good idea. See, yeah, because that way I can go back and look at my book on video, and then I can hear myself talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can go back and look. Go back and look. Okay, date of the videos. And then I can also date uh, Rosemary's and mine. Or date oh, Rosemary's, yeah, Rosemary's too, because she's and there. and my videos. That's a great idea. Uh, thank you. I love the idea because I'm going to just journal on the front because, like I said, years like you think you'll remember it, but I, I've done it so many times, and then years later, you're just like, yeah, I don't remember that. Oh, I know. I do that. I, I wish I'd written down all the supplies I use on stuff because I go back and I have no idea what I've used. Oh, I'm sorry, Kay. Yes, it is. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse uh, me. This is Stamperia rice paper on the front cover and on the back cover. And I just wrapped it around and I merged the two together. And uh, yeah, this and they're beautiful. And what I used um, as the St. Maria rice paper is I just put it on the back, the glue on the back. What kind of glue did you use, Colleen? There he is. I used this glue. This is on Amazon, and this is a starch paste glue, and it's for rice paper. Sorry about my nails. I was work. They're gluey and blue from working on the page from yesterday. I was up till 2.30 working on that. I'm crazy. Crazy, I tell you. 2.30, and I knew I had to get up and stream. But I was I'm like... I 2.30 last night, too. Oh. Yeah, I was working. That's why I got blue and the wax <laughs> fingers. And, yeah, I couldn't get it off last night. Can you all see? I'm almost... I got more left in here. I got another jar of it. But it's, it's, a, it's, it's a paste. It's different, and it's great for rice paper. So I put it underneath the rice paper, not on top. I just put it underneath because I'm not putting anything on top. And then it leaves it just really silky and soft. It feels like velvet. I think Kathy Arbor said that it's similar to Yes Paste. Feels like velvet. When you just have it underneath and lay your rice paper on top, it feels like velvet. It is slow to dry. And I got a repair of one corner came undone. But you, it's... Yeah, don't get paint on it. I was so mad I got paint on my rice paper. I was like, oh. Um, it takes, it's very slow to dry. So just to forewarn you, like, let it, you got to, like, just set the project aside for a little bit, let it dry. Thanks, Brooke. And this was the gears and the um, seahorse that I did the embossing glaze and wax and stamping, thanks to France. Was a Fran on the edge? She, um, she, and Eileen. It was a combination of Eileen and Fran on the edge that we came up with this idea of the doing this with the chipboard. And it's in last Friday's video. You want to watch the recording? And I did it the Friday before. That was the first time I did it. But yeah, so it's amazing. You can take a Dollar Dollar Tree recipe book. And go in and tear out some of the pages, because otherwise, it's you'll never be. It'd be like this. It's still going to be buffy, but that's okay. But go in and, and tear out like pages out of there throughout the whole book, so you can add to it and um, and paint and glue and do whatever you want. So, yeah. So just get your Dollar Tree book and go for it. That's all I say is go for it. So I want to show you what I was experimenting with. So I'll show you my tracing paper experiments. So I'm having fun with tracing paper. 
Hashtag is probably all Kathy's fault. Yeah, on Tracy. <coughs> Let me put Kathy on so you can see her. Um, thank you, Debbie. Thanks, Sandra. Oh, thanks, Nancy. That's really sweet. She says it's been fun watching you create it. Yeah, the embossing technique is, is, is you just kind of need to take ugly chipboard and make it beautiful. It really is. Oh, harvest some new images. Okay, um, Kay, how do you store your magazine images? That I think is the biggest, at least a lot of people struggles is how, where, how do you store your collage? I love hearing how different people store their collage images. Oh, that's a good question, Colleen. Everybody should type in how they store, how they like to store their collage images. Oh, it didn't take long at all, Brooke. It, it did take it all long. Thank you so much for putting that on there in the shop. I will order that. That I asked you yesterday and you put it on today. That's not slow. I don't I just wanted it. I didn't want you to forget. That's why I was I was reminding you. Because I know I forget everything. I have to write it all down. Thank you so much. I will check out with Johnny and you when I get off of here. I ordered the I ordered the houses digi from Brooke. I want that. She put that up. That was from last year. She was really sweet, and she put the uh, digi images back up for me. The popo had I liked, and then she um, also had. I wanted to get this month, um, which was had the mask and stuff, and um, and also uh, there's something else I got. I can't remember. Then my car, all her girls. She has some cute little girls, like the Marlene girls. She has some really cute Digi girls. Oh, cool! I have. I, got, I want to I'm get. I have those in my cart too. So I took my tracing paper, and I covered it with. It's even hard to look at. This is how it's called: folk art, extreme glitter, and they say it is hologram. Hologram. So I'm thinking holographic, but maybe it's pronounced hologram. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it says hologram, but I always think of this as uh, hog, uh, holographic. Is that the right, Kathy? I think so. Yeah, holographic. Yeah. I'm always uh, I'm always messing everything. Yeah, oh. that's why I have Tom around. How do I put this? How do I spell this? <laughs> H O L O G R A F I C. Holographic. Okay. K okay, has a three door tour unit. Larger images in the iris containers are my goals. And you think you have a you have a video on how you store them? Oh, I gotta watch that. Oh, okay. good. Okay. K. Okay. Because I, I, I know that um, Dee Dee has talked about in the past how she used to store her collage images and now how she stores her collage images and um she has changed it and i'm all i've done that many i've done that to muma stuff but Kay has a, a video on how she stores her images so if you are a collage person you love collecting images check out that and i think cage fish recently had some videos which i haven't had time to watch showing how she's organizing her images let me write that down too because I want to watch Carla's too. I'm, yes, always looking, I'm always looking for new ways to start because I love collage as well. I do, uh, well, I do more, you know, I do everything, but it's hard to figure out how to store them. I want to say it's magazines for you now. Yeah, I think. Um, I, I kind of have, uh, we did a, you would like to, okay, we did a, a blind three, pick three collage video. It was a lot of fun. I think I want to do that again at some point. That was fun. Oh, that was fun. So we did that and we picked, basically I had some baskets with like large, medium, small images. And I just like closed my eyes and picked out the images and then used a Kyla card. And I basically finished it with, the extra stuff but basically whatever i found whatever i picked i had to make into um i had to make into a collage and that's with not 
not picking out the images. That's just with what I found. So this one was the hardest one I did. <laughs> but it turned out great. I had a deer head and everything. <laughs> that one was the hardest one that I did. I know you can do that was taking the blind three to a whole new level. Yeah. And um, I wanted to, if we have time, we could even do a quickie blind three too, if we got time. Oh, like, that would be fun. Yeah, we could try showing everybody that one. So I wanted to show you. So I covered the, I covered the um, regular tracing paper comes in a pack, um, not the roll, just the kind you buy at the store. And I covered it in glitter. And this one I covered in glitter and then I covered it with ink. And um, this one I just covered in glitter. And then what I was doing was I was, I was laying down some stencils and drawing and doodling and outlining some stencils but look how cool now from the back it looks solid right but i mean because that's where the glue settles down and then the top leaves the glitter but what i thought i was having fun with was then you can kind of make your images see there was even able to layer so i stamped the jar oh cool i stamped another image on top and then this one's got some gold. Depending on what, see how you can, you'll be able to layer with these once with the tracing paper. I love that. So if you imagine <laughs> this envelope, I don't remember what we were doing. This has got some stuff on it. But how you can add that, and because this is shiny, it shows up. Or if you, you know, and this is a flower. I love the flower. Now, how does that compare to the dragonfly glaze? Is it is it sparklier? I think it's sparklier, but it's, it's clear. <laughs> it's just the same thing, but it's clear. Honestly, it's the same thing, but I think it's more sparkly. It is like diamonds. It's really sparkly. That is cool. Like the camera is like has a hard time focusing. It is like diamonds. Uh, Judy said it's a jar full of love. Oh. Ann uh, stores her images by size. It does look like faux glassine paper, Devin. It's a lot less expensive than glassine paper. Oh, it does. Yeah. Well, exactly. I wonder what that would look like on the glassine. And I haven't tried that yet. Oh, yeah. For those that are new, <clears throat> the blind three that we talk about started out, if you see Eileen's uh, text, she used to work at a uh, quilt store and she would have the students blindly pick three different fabrics and make an art quilt from them. And what she started doing, I think it started you were, when Ange was streaming and she would um, make her pick three paints blindly and not know what they were. And she guaranteed that they all, it would turn out no matter what three colors you picked. So she's right. You can go in blindly, pick three colors. You can also use black and white. And um, that's how the blind three in art journaling started. And then we kind of did it. We've done it with supplies. We did it with the, um, with the collage stuff. So it's fun, but no matter what three things you pick out, it always turns out. So that's just a little history of the, oh, it started with Jen. Okay, that's right, Jen was doing it. Um, but it, it, for whatever reason, you look at the colors and you're like, oh my God, but it always turns out. So that's just the little history of the blind three. So this is what I'm using, Brooke, and it is like diamonds. And I put it on very lightly and um it is when it says extreme glitter it is extreme glitter so it is it is the camera doesn't do it justice like it is like gold liquid gold so if you you know like i love also things that aren't glittery at all I, again i love it all i think everything has its place to have something simple something uh, a dull color a bright color a spark everything has its place in art right and whatever mood you're in. I mean, my moods, it might depend on my moods too. Um, I don't always use glitter and I don't always use plain stuff. I go back and forth. So you can see like this envelope. Oh, that's how, cute. How it just adds a little something to the envelope. Before it was just like, yeah, it's an envelope. You can see I was trying something out on it. 
threw it aside. I don't even remember what we were doing on it. And now I could just add this little flower and it looks finished. And then, and then if you, I was also doing was I was taking the, uh, the tracing paper and I was stamping it. So then I could just go in here. And then I think that that could speed up your process too. Like I say, you want to be creative, but you're too tired to, and we've all been that way. You're too tired to actually make something that day. You know what I mean? You're like, I want to create, but I'm so tired. Well, now you can just go in here and one day you're in the mood to create, but not create. Stamp some words on some vellum and then cut them out when you're wanting to create, but you're lazy. I have all these moods. I want to create, but I'm tired, but I want to create, but I'm tired, I'm lazy. So then, but then like it's done. So then if I lay it here, it kind of, you know, on the dark, it kind of disappears, but it looks a little bit better on the bright, but you can kind of see how you can just add something to your page. And these are just, this was a stamp. I'm sorry, this was a stencil I traced and cut out, and this is a stamp. So then it just takes some of your backgrounds or experiments and finishes it. And, and then you just you round the corners, Colleen, and you've got a really pretty card. Just oh, that's true. The round the corners and, and yeah, it would make it look a lot better if the corners are rounded. And this oh one, God. I just, like, this is a good example of how bright it is. And then um, I just stamped the word love and I doodled the peace sign. That's so really cool. vellum is fun. And here's the other thing. I was watching a little bit of Amp Beck and um, a few of them were doing um, image transfers yesterday. And so I actually tried to image transfer on the vellum. That's the back side and it worked. And now it got a little bit like uh, some of the white still on here. So I want to try this again to close the camera, but it worked. So the difference is some of the white is still here, and I didn't give it a lot of time. This was late last night. But you can see the difference if I just glued this down and then versus transferring it. Like if I don't want all this white, but I want mm -hmm. this cute little image. And so you can do a transfer on this. Those are great stamps. Those are stamps, right? It was a, it, yeah. This image is from a magazine. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, images from a magazine are cute. And then so you could do this and put it in your book and it looks like this. So I put this down, you know, this is from a magazine. But when I, this is the same thing, but smaller, obviously. But uh -huh. when I transferred it with the soft gel onto the vellum, now it looks kind of cool and artsy. So oh, I like that. So then you could, um, I don't think they would be messy pages anything messy around me or painty to lay it on um Okay, Eileen said she's taking the pick three to the next level. She's blindly picking three things to buy on Amazon <laughs> <laughs> You could end up with who knows what <laughs> So this is uh, a book I got from Johnny a vintage ledger and I was um, using the woody stabilios and putting those down because I don't need a lot of water. And, oh, I should just start the pages. And then I put the stabilio down. And then I was just taking some vintage type images and just just collaging in it um, and look because I want the writing to stay. And this one I was trying stamping, which was unsuccessful. So I will cover that up. But, hey, Kelly, they want you to they want to see how you did that. You want to see how I did this? Okay, yeah. great. Yeah, go ahead it. and put yourself big. That was, I think it, uh, I was kind of watching the girls do that. And I was like, well, that could be fun. And I was like, I wonder, you know, since I'm in my, um, also, I you can use vellum in your printer, girls. Tack this down to your, your, your paper with pixie spray. And you can print on your printer with this. So you can use uh, you can use vellum. You can use tracing paper in your printer. So you can stamp on it. And also, I mean, this is just adding the glitter. So if you had a pair of uh, you wanted to have a pair of wings, you could put this behind 
you could put this behind an image like you could cut her out have her on here and or whatever you know you can make wings from this this would be great wings oh that's really cool yeah so just by adding that on top of it now it does it is like a it does make it the uh, vellum stiffer because it is like a glue but okay so but that's it's, vellum it's not tracing paper it's tracing paper i keep saying vellum okay it is tracing paper it's tracing paper yeah correct me every time i say that way okay, it's Devin uh, noticed i didn't even notice Devin yeah noticed. it is tracing paper i'm gonna lay it out tracing paper out in front of me and that way i remember so these are some of my favorite images that I stamped and these girls. And I was also thinking about whether I could jelly print with the tracing paper, but like put these down on the jelly plate and pull it off and have the paint on the back side without messing up the stamped image. You know what I mean? Oh, you could. Oh, that would be cool. So I was thinking you could jelly plate with it. And then how I just thinking how fun that would be. So all right, so where's my gel? So it was really simple to do. So this is and get open. Get you some, this is uh, golden soft gel gloss. So you don't need a gloss. I would just I should probably recommend a matte, but this is what I have. And so I just dip my brush in the gloss and added it right onto the image. I want to transfer. Okay, now I see. Okay. And then I'm, blob, I'm also going to do is I'm going to blob some down on my on my tracing paper as well. Thank you. I, I don't know why I'm saying vellum. I know it's tracing paper. They're similar. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's tracing paper seems to glue better. Uh, that I would agree with because vellum is. Um, yeah, vellum's definitely a little different. And you do have to be careful when you're ordering tracing paper because sometimes it'll say vellum tracing paper it's so already I try working. to stay away from those all right so put some soft gel i don't i recommend the gel over matte medium the gel just seems to work better for transfers there is a difference between the gel and the, and the matte medium so I think for transfers, gel is better because this is what the matte medium is white. Um, it does get translucent, but I do recommend the gel. For the yeah, for some reason, the gel does work better. Yeah. So just make sure you press it down into the paper. I'm going to flip it over because you can see it. Now, obviously, it's going to crinkle. You know, I mean, you're going to have some crinkles and it. it's not going to be as smooth if, if you put it on to paper but just another cool effect right why not and then so, how long does it take for that to dry it just takes a couple minutes i actually like went and cleaned my paint brushes up and stuff and came back so i'm gonna set this aside to dry and then we'll we'll peel off the back and you can see it okay how about while that's drying i'll just do a quick flip of my um of my funky fish book there's only a few pages in it oh Perfect. So that'll work. So here's, um, I didn't, I'm not doing an altered book. I actually, um, I made my journal out of uh, the heavy duty file folders. And I just took different sheets of paper and made one um, signature and put it in. And then I covered the uh, file folder with burlap. And when I'm finished, I will, um, <clears throat> attach this onto here. I didn't want to attach it because I didn't want it to get ruined while I was working on the book. So, um, so yeah, I just took different types of paper. I, I put some scrapbook paper in with my, my signature. This is some other scrapbook paper I made a, a waterfall with and added some stickers from the antiquarium sticker book 
did that. And then I have all the uh, the pieces of scrapbook paper attached to a large um, tag that I had made. And then I just added some of my little doodaddy things here. And then I've only got a few pages done in mine. Um, I just add some thicker cardstock, some black paper. Uh, I doodled these fish on a separate piece of paper and then cut those out and attach them. And then I think I'm going to do some white doodled fish over here. Um, different papers. This was uh, from a paper pack I got from Ingrid. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that cool? So I just kind of pieced that together. So I'll, I figured that it's that'll be a good background for a fish scene. Um, this was just some jelly prints that I had done that I had printed on rice paper. And then um, the shells and coral are from a poster. And the mermaids are just sketches of mermaids that I printed out. And then this... The other day when I was um, jelly plating with Brooke, Eileen had said, oh, put some set of color on because we were going to jelly plate with fabric. And I ended up putting um, cheesecloth on. And cheesecloth on the jelly plate, it's a really easy way to, to dye your cheesecloth. I love that idea. It, it was so easy, Colleen, instead of like mushing it all up and shoving it in a cup. <laughs> That's what I did last time. <laughs> I just put this set of color on the jelly plate, put this on, and then um, actually I had already done this page. I had to carefully like lift everything up and I just kind of tucked it in behind just for some texture. So, and then I've got, see these are just different, different types of papers in here. And what else have I done? Not a whole lot. Um, and then this is the book, or the page I worked on with uh, Rosemary. And the little little mermaid floats up and down. And again, this is a jelly print. This is actually Robin McClendon, one of her jelly prints I got in one of her packs that I printed on rice paper. And then um, just cut out some fish and stuff like that. So, but yeah, that's all I've gotten done with that. Um, and real quick, the other thing I've been working on, I watched uh, Tracy Weinsapple the other day. She does, um, she uh, was doing a, a video for Jelly Arts, and she was just showing what she does with her, with her jelly prints. And I remembered, this is a, a journal that I did when I first got my jelly plate years ago. And the front and the back, are it's filled with jelly prints and it's just kind of sat there and then she was showing how she goes over with the marker so i took my pasca surprise surprise and just started doodling over my jelly prints so now this is going to be my new doodle book i've got all these jelly prints and i can take my pascas and draw over them so i actually finished that one and then this was another one i worked on so yeah, so just another thing you can do with your jelly prints is um, draw on top of them with markers. So, but yeah, I could not, I completely forgot I had this, but look at all the fun. And these are from when I first started. I actually like some of these better than the ones I make and the ones I make now. That's kind of cool. So yeah, oh, that's pretty. So yeah, I may pull some of these out too to collage with. But yeah, this has been sitting on my shelf for years, just sitting there. Now I've got some fun, fun papers to draw on. Is it funny how you make something and just because you feel like, you know, you want to make it for the, like you want to make it for the, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I know. I was like, okay, so now what do I do with the jelly prints? And then I started doing them on loose pieces of paper. And I use my jelly prints all the time. I had just forgotten about this. 
There's that one. I like that. Oh, bye, uh, G. Brody. I know, isn't it, Nan? It's fun uh, pulling out old stuff that you've completely forgotten about. So, Oh, hi, Nan, by the way. I think I missed her coming in. Okay, so that's about it. I haven't been as busy as Colleen. I'm finally, I'm finally getting back into art, but uh, slowly getting stuff done. But that's all I've been working on. I could get out of art. <laughs> Boy, how did that happen? Okay. So I'm gonna try when we're running that. That should be on a dry. So I, I'm gonna throw some. We we're talking about the jelly plate. So I was gonna, I was gonna try that out. <laughs> I'm gonna try that out with my girl. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm going to actually. I think I'm gonna do some jelly plating today on my rice paper, Colleen. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just put, just see what happens. I should get. I'm not an expert at jelly plating, so I will tell you that. I, I dabble. I think doing it this way, you can just put paint on the back of the tracing paper. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to do. You can do some sprays and. You could use your dye sprays, permanent sprays. You could use acrylic paint. I could be, I don't know how water, alcohol ink, so I could try alcohol ink on it. I don't think that any sort of water based product would work um, with the tracing paper. It probably needs to be uh, more permanent. Um, I thought, yeah, if you're going to put gel over it, it might. I don't know. Ew, I don't like that. But it does look cool from this direction. Okay, that I don't, well, you can jelly prate on this, but I don't know if I like that. It's like it hid her face. I should have flipped it. Maybe. Let's try, let's try a different one. Hold on. Let's try this again. Let me think. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to put I need to go with just a solid and maybe not get fancy. Oops. All right, I'm just going to cut up some. This is my roll of Uh, rice paper. Stamp on with acrylic ink and add the layers. That's true. That's true. You also, I think, could use your um, sharpies or copic um, on the tracing paper as well. At least my background now has some color. So, again, I'm not a jelly plate expert. But see, now she's got some color, so I kind of like that. Oh, that worked. Now you now you did the print on the back side of that? Yeah, I flipped it. This yeah. Time. Flipped it using, using my brain a little bit more. So then you could go in and color this in with your Sharpie, paint markers, something that's kind of, you know what I mean? And, um, but then she said, what's the cool, I mean, now she's got a little bit of, um, color to her, but I use, but she's still going to be somewhat translucent, I think. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this. Okay. So then go on, like, use your gel pens or whatever and go in and color her and then cut her out. It's fun. Okay. I'm going to get ready to. We're going to transfer here. So, again, I'm just showing you a way to use some of your stencils and your stamps. Um, with something as fun as paper. It's just fun. 
I like that it's still see-through. Oh, I like that. I like how that shows up, the stamp. What I like about um, stamping the tracing paper first, you get a nice crisp stamp. Because you can also, you can stamp on the jelly plate, but um, that's kind of hit or miss. This I mean, way you know you're always going to have that image on there. Exactly. And you could stamp on uh, tissue paper, you know what I mean, and, and all that as well. I mean, there's other yeah. things you use besides tracing paper and where you can, you know, you can do that. Now, if you're, they so you could do, but you can see how cool this looks. It's just, oh, it's, I love that. It's just different. Now, oh, and then you could put that glittery stuff on top. Oh, let's do that. So then. <laughs> that would have been fun. Um, I think what I also liked about working with the tracing paper is the ability to layer. And I think that was what I had a lot of fun with. Is then I only have a few things kind of done. Uh, so I was working on this like two to more. Well, this is going to blend in because it's colored. But I mean, you you can you can layer the layer the tracing paper. And uh, I think that's just kind of a fun at fun attribute. So, so get your tracing paper out and play. Like it might just be sitting there collecting dust. So like this is with the shiny paper, and then it just adds something to it. So um, I like that. That I like. I like that one. I don't know. Just build you. Build you a little. Build a little layout. But yeah, I just feel like it's just fun to and put this on a card. Use this on card. You could use this for card making. You could use this for, you know, but now you can see this. Use a plane too. Look how cute that looks. So you take your flower and you have it in your pot. Look how cute that is. How cute. Totally cute. I like that. Yeah, so I was thinking about all the things I could use with tracing paper, and it's and, and also it's fun because it's crinkly <laughs> <laughs> and it crinkles. I know it's the sound, it's a crinkle factor. Anytime there's a crinkle factor, it, it just is fun. It feels a little bit cold, so I'm gonna heat, I'm gonna heat this just a minute, just not a lot because it will might make my paper buckle, but it still feels a little bit damp. And I put my heat gun up high above it. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet it with some water and we're going to wipe away. And you can do this on, um, you can do this technique on journal paper, any kind of your mixed media. It, it, you can use this technique on anything, really. Go ahead and put so, yours big, Colleen, so they can see. So you want to wet it. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Joyce. Yeah, I like them layered together, too, Devin. I think that that that's just makes it super fun. I didn't have as much glue. Oop, that's not working. Make sure it's just going to, I don't want to peel too much off. Hopefully, I'm not jumping again. This is just the ink coming off the back of the paper, so as the paper, the out the magazine, so I don't freak out. Just make sure you just, uh, this one, since it has the black on there, just make sure you just have it on to wipe off on something you don't care about. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to do it though. I don't know. Hoping this works. There we go. There we go. It's working now. Hi, Flo. Welcome back. Hi to everybody that's come in and that we've missed. Welcome. All right. I'm peeling this back. You saw I wet it and I kind of rubbed it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> now I'm peeling, right, Brooke. I'm peeling off the paper. <sighs> Look at that. Let me, get, let me wipe off my fingers. And it worked. And it was that easy. Uh-oh, CB, what has Bailey gotten into? 
I know it's amazing how quick that is, and that looks so cool. And the whole fact that it's transparent makes it even more fun for collage. And you also got to work a little bit harder when you do this on paper. You have to rub a lot more. And you can also do this with packaging tape. You can do these transfers with packaging tape. And, um, ooh, well, it's matte medium. I rubbed too much. I rubbed it. But look at the back. It worked. Now you can still see some of the paper showing here. Let's see if I can get some more of the paper off. But here, the paper is gone. And here I still have some paper to get off. But that, but um, you can see how that just peeled right off. That was cool, right? So I'm just going to gently, don't, don't rub, you got to rub, but don't rub too much. A medium, because otherwise you'll start rubbing off your image you want to keep. So try to, if you want to get some more of the um, background paper. Off, but don't go too crazy. I'm gonna try my baby white. As you can see I got a little bit of her outfit off, which I don't want to do too much. So you got, I mean, if I rub too much, I'm gonna rub some her clip, but I don't want to rub too hard. But I mean, you can see the difference. It was really bright and kind of in your face. And now with doing with transferring this on here, and that cool, Devin. And now like transferring this on. Yeah, you can soak the paper off. That's true. That might work as well. I mean, like Debbie was saying, if you did this, you could probably, you might be able to put this. I've not seen anyone do that, but I don't know if you could soak this with the soft gel or not. I know with the transfer tape, you can soak it in a bowl of water. But I don't know if you can do that with the soft gel. Yeah, there's a lot of different I haven't, uh, let's put it that way, I haven't, done, I haven't done that. I've only done where you lay down the paper and then you wet the paper and you peel it off as far as the soft gel goes. Yeah, there's all different types of... Uh, but like this, um, this is where I have some paper left in crinkles. But I mean, for me, I'm happy with it. Now, do you think it's a little... If you think it's a little too distressed, then you may not like this technique. But I do all sorts of art techniques and artwork, art styles, whatever, and um, I like it all. That's what I like about this technique is it's quick. It's quick, too. This was really quick. You all saw that we just, I did a little bit of jelly plating on the side, and that's all I did. So then you could take this, and if you wanted to, you could stamp on top of it and work on it again, or color this in, or stamp on it. I don't know why you color it in. We just pulled the color off, but um, let's put, let's put Dream on here, that stamp. But yeah, so it's a pencil, add this to add this to your add this to a journal, a grungy journal, uh, add it to a junk journal, add it to a painted page. I don't know, it's just fun. And then I can see I can add this on top of it. And then you can still see the words behind it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can yeah, see that or not. So you can see where I transferred it. And then when I lay this, this another layer of tracing paper down. Right. And if I glue this on top, I, 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 you, saw you can actually still see the words behind it. All right. Especially if I glue this down, you're going to see the words. Look how gluey my fingers are. Um, So I hope that was fun. I hope you liked it. It's, if you liked it, Kay, do you want to see anything else? That and is cool, well, Colleen. I think you could try it with now. You could try it. This is with, I wonder how, I don't know how it would work with the black and white. I haven't done like, I just figured this out last night. I don't know if you could do a black and white image or not, how that would work. Probably. I don't see why not. You know, um, yeah, because this is vellum. Vellum is, um, 
yeah, so vellum is hard to glue, it buckles, but I was thinking this isn't dark enough. I'm trying to figure out if I have any vellum here that's dark enough. Oh, you could layer it with some like two-sided tape or something around the corners. <clears throat> so that could be interesting. So like we remove the, the white background, right? So I wondered if you wanted to have another, you could obviously, how you could, uh, no matter what you put now, it would have this behind it. Mm -hmm. So I could actually glue it to this vellum and have a, whatever background I want behind it or whatever is on. I just think oh, that's pretty. pretty. That would make a cool um, tip in or something. That's true too. You With could the two do, of them together. That's true. That would be a fun tip in. Yeah. There's always options. So yeah, when you think about um, yeah, because I, I just really had fun. I did print out, let me see if I had it laying around here. Uh, I printed out some stuff on it. Um, for, I don't have it in here. The Robin McClendon's, um, her digi prints, and I printed those out on vellum our vellum tracing paper and it turned out really cool so hopefully uh, hopefully uh you all try it let me know i'd be interested if you try in the transfers let's see i will do i'm going to try it my quickly shade of amber technique i i really want to try which i thought was cool and i'll soak what i'll do is i'll soak another image on some tracing paper while i, I work on that Let's see. Okay, now I can show you what not to do with your jelly plate. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so I had leftover paint on here and I wanted to do a cleanup print, which is fine. Just don't do a cleanup print with rice paper. Because what I did I put a bunch of paint on and I really rubbed it in and let it sit. Half my rice paper stuck, but actually I ended up with a cool pull. But um, half, see where these white streaks are? That's all the paper that's stuck to the jelly plate. So don't, don't do a cleanup print with rice paper, at least not this kind. So, but I'm just here. I, luckily I have another jelly plate, so I'll, Clean that up later. All right. Okay. So we'll just put that down. And then this has some good crusty bits. Hopefully these will come up. So use your index cards to pull the crusty bit off it. I love the crusty bits on the index cards. Yes. Those make those they they just uh, then you're like working on your index card uh, at the same time. I love putting those on the jelly. What you learn from Robin McClendon? Yeah, so I think before I use the um, rice paper on this, I'm just going to do like a pull and <clears throat> try to get some stuff up. Oh, yeah, this will be great. And plus, I'm going to do um, that will be good texture. And I think I'm going to do some I'm going to do some mark making on these for my uh, funky fish journal. So it is cool. It is cool. All right. Let's see what we come up with here. Hey, De I have a question. Hey, Debbie, are you still there? I've got a question. 
when you do yours and you leave it sit in the water to soak, how long does it have to soak for? The jelly plate? No, the transfer. Transfer. The image oh. transfer. Oh, what really are talking plate. about? Um, no, because Debbie was saying that she does hers. She does those transfers on paper, and she soaks them in water. I was just wondering how long it's soaked. All right, let me get some. I don't know if she's still here. Oh, thanks for coming, Kay. Glad you could make it. Bye, Kay. Thank you for coming. All right. Okay, warm water works faster. And then how long does you just stick the whole thing? How long does how long do you let it sit in the water? Oh, you're welcome, Kay. You too. Overnight and it slips right off. She said. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. If you have a bunch of them, you can do a whole bunch. Put them in a tray with water. And then they'll come right off. That's the one I had done. I've done them both ways, but I couldn't remember. I thought I know I did that with packaging tape, but I don't think I've done it with paper, just packaging tape where you soak it. Ooh, that's yummy. Look at that <laughs> yumminess. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Now this was that to make a, a nice background for something. Yeah, like this is almost like coral. Maybe I'll make some coral or something out of this. Ooh, coral. That's a great idea. That'd be cool. That would be great coral. Oh my gosh. So which one did you color did you use? The orange? Okay, the Papio uh, iridescent precious gold and iridescent red blue. Oh wow. That looks really neat. I like those colors together. Uh, the tissue paper you're using? This is just um, deli paper. This is deli paper. My. This isn't even the good deli paper I use. This is just the Dixie Right Wrap with the fold in it. Okay, this is gonna. I'm gonna do some stamping on this. Ooh, or mark maybe some mark making on this too. Haha. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Flo, I agree. I love the Pabio paints. Baby, I can't play right now, Bandit. I told you I was the one to play when I'm streaming. Oh, and this, oh, I like this one. Got some more of the crusty bits on it. Look at that. With the crusty bits. Ooh, that's a really good crusty bit. I love the little pops of turquoise and green in there. I that's know. Beautiful. I love that. That's how this stuff oh, is here. Pretty. I have to oh, do that again. Pretty. I think this one, I think I'm going to do uh, tape. I'm going to make tape out of this one. Oh, yeah. That'll be tape. That would be, that's a great idea to make some tape with it. Okay, I now let's do, I think. I think I've had the best luck. I want to make sure the back door is open. I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. Okay. One of the things I like to do is I like to use my fresco paints, which are kind of chalky. They're just a, a matte paint, and then I like to mix it up with the. Um, 
the shimmery and the metallic paint. So let's do let's do some of those. All right, this is Blue Lagoon. Okay, when you're using the rice paper, you don't want to get too much too much paint. See, these are the fresco paints by Paper Artsy. This one's Blue Oyster. Ooh. All right. And then, to zhuzh it up a bit. Zhuzh. I like zhuzh it up. Ooh, here's some uh, deco art blue metallic. Zhuzhing it up. There. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, now when I do the rice paper, you don't want to really rub it in. You just want to press it down, quickly do that. And then pull it up. Oh, my, um, <laughs> I know. I'm just your desk. We saw how messy it was. I know. Actually, this is actually the cleanest it's been in a while. Let me fix my camera. I think I'm on uh, auto focus. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, now I lost my mouse. Okay, Helen. Is Helen going to get tea? She's going to get yep. tea. It's always right. I know. I knew it. Always about this time. It's her tea break. Okay, so who else is streaming today? I know Barb Owen comes on at two. Um, is Johnny still here? Is she streaming today? Oh yeah, is she streaming around four p.m.? Yeah, is she coming on at four. Uh, let's see. Yeah, my autofocus is. Oh my gosh, my nails! My nails are so sad. Okay. Turn that off. All right, that should be better. All right, 4 p.m. Eastern. You follow Johnny. She's here in chat. She's, oh, I forgot you can't click on the three dots. YouTube stole that from us. Uh, Go to Junk Journal Shop is her name of her YouTube channel as well. You're just going to have to key it in or someone can put a link in for you. Because it's gone. Yeah, what are you um what are you doing today, Johnny? Do you have anything for sale? Are you working on projects? Oh, 4 p.m. Wednesdays her sale will be. 
Oh, okay. John, go put no, Brooke, Brooke is going to have her sale at four. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's, I'm sorry. It's Brooke that said that. I apologize. Brooke's having her sale Wednesday. She is the same as YouTube recreation by Brooke. And uh, she's going to have a sale um, on, uh, I guess, an auction, I'm assuming, on YouTube Wednesday. I don't know if I've not been to Brooks, so for that. No, I haven't either. She hasn't had an auction in a while, I don't think. And Johnny's, okay, she's working. She's going to be making ledger cards. She's trying to get that down before she streams. Those are going to be fun. I can't wait to get my ledger cards. Oh, I know. I can't wait either. Okay, so what I'm doing here... <laughs> Johnny bullied her into making the decision. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, Brooke said she only did sales once in a while. Okay. Oh, I missed that. Too late, Debbie. She said put the, the uh, gel down in uh, layers in different directions when you're doing yeah. the transfer, which I just did it one direction, I didn't do it two directions. Thank you for the tip. Okay, just do there once in a while. Okay. I don't do them at all, so I'm just wondering. Well, you, you were sick too a while ago, so. Oh, hey, Peggy. What are you working on? Peggy's watching us on TV, so now she can glue. Cool. All right. So this is uh, again a technique by Amber and uh, on YouTube. So I just want to try it. So the next thing she did, she put down her gesso and the neo twos. So then she took a stencil. And she took a <laughs> Johnny. On. Brooke said Johnny cyber bullied her. <laughs> <laughs> how ugly rumors get started. And she took a baby wipe and rubbed. You know, she used a circle stencil in the video. I think that was discontinued. Use any stencil you want. She also um, has some digi birds that are super cute. Some digi images you can buy. The Amber did the um, bird, really cute bird digies that she used on her page. I'm using one of my eye stencils, badass stamps. Badass stencils, I mean, not stamp stencils. I got from Patty's sale when they had the eye stencil sale which was a really good deal with the shipping and the 30% off and okay, Ooh, okay. So then if she rubbed some off then she went in Oh, fun, Peggy. The second stencil. another stencil I think she used um, she used a smaller stencil oh are you doing that technique where you wipe it back with the uh, baby, baby wipe? wipe yeah this is fun I don't use my neo twos very often I haven't so, used mine in a while yeah so I was excited to um, I saw this technique. I wanted to try it because I was like, you know, I don't use my Neo 2. So this is, um, I wanted to try this. This is fun. Okay. 
And it, it, you saw like I scribbled that on on top of the gesso and it just like dissolved like butter. It really did. And probably having the gesso behind it probably helped it to meld so easily, you know. Uh-huh. All right. So now I got this cool thing out and rub back some of the paint. Then she took her Dina Wakely white spray. I have it out here somewhere. Hold on, here, Barry. This is what happens when you're cleaning. You try to get everything out of your way, and then you just start, like I have all my tracing paper over here, and you just start piling. <laughs> And then once you start piling, then you start then then you lose stuff. I know. If no matter how tr how neat you try to be, it doesn't work. So I don't even bother anymore. Yeah, this is so drying. We'll do our transfer. It's so drying. It still feels very damp and cold. Um. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now I'm gonna put down my spray. That was the next thing that she did. Oh, how are they, Debbie? Do they work good? Flo, do I find the paper artsy paint very different from regular craft paints? No. There, I would say the paper artsy paints are similar to craft paint, like the deco arts and stuff. What's different about them are their colors. But as far as how they, oops, now see this, I almost pressed a little, oh. You got to be careful with this rice paper. Um, the consistency and the way they look are very similar to regular craft paint. Okay, so remember when certain rice papers, you got to be careful. All right, this isn't too bad. Yeah, they find it's the colors that are different, but as far as the matte finish to them, they're the same. Not the satins, but to the mats. See, now here, this is pulling up. I pressed down a little too much, but that's still kind of cool. Okay, sorry about that, Colleen. Okay, so Debbie said the replacement sprays work on distress and delusion, any Ranger product. That's good to know. Okay, uh, yucky. Now what? I'm just, I usually don't clean my plate while I do that with a pencil, but I was cleaning it off on my jelly print, or the jelly print, on my tracing paper that we did the. Oh, let's see. That was oh, the, I love that. That was the stamp, and then we did the jelly print. I don't know. I'm just cleaning off. I'm just playing with it because I'm. I don't know if I was going to use it or not. So, um, when you when I do that technique, Colleen, I love taking the extra paint on the baby wipe and doing stuff with it. Okay, if you do get paper stuck on your plate, it does come right off with a baby wipe. Ooh, I want to do a good, oh, if I start picking this, I want to keep picking it, just leave it. I'd love to get a good, let to get all this stuff up. And I think this was a uh, pretty good, uh, awesome idea that she had because the Neo 2s are water soluble. You saw I was able to wipe it back. And then you're adding Dina Wakely sprays, which are permanent, um, on top of it. You know what I mean? So it's not going to reactivate it. It's just going to, and, and uh, it's just going to enhance, really. Yeah. I like this gloss white. And hers are kind of. Uh, you can see it, it, it um, because I put it on really thick and heavy. You're, you're gonna see it almost looks like uh, I used um, they're gonna go bark at somebody. It's almost as if I used a paste or something. 
Oh man, there's somebody they wanna they wanna bark at bad. Of course they know it's <laughs> raining outside. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and find out it's raining and watch them come in all muddy. Well, at least it's raining. I've got big humongous snowflakes coming down. We're supposed to get four inches of snow today. Ooh, four inches. Yeah. Oh but it'll be gone God. by tomorrow, supposedly. I know. Hey, Brenda, how much snow do you have, Brenda? Brenda said she and Kathy said it's snowing there too. I enjoyed yeah. your rain yesterday, Kathy. That was fun. Kathy what Arbor. Was that? I enjoyed Kathy Arbor's stream yesterday with the houses. Oh, it was fun. It was fun. Hi, it, it, Hello. Say hi to the girls. Hi, girls. Hey, Tom. Hi. What was that noise? Were you, were you rolling something or was that? Noise? That was the dogs. Right. Well, no, but it was like rumbling before that. I oh, I that could have been me rolling my card over. <laughs> oh, maybe that's what it was. Because, you know, it was like, yeah, I didn't think it was thunder. No, that was. You were rolling your card up here. Okay. Yeah, that was me rolling my card, I think. <laughs> that's funny. There you can see them saying hi to you. Oh, hello. Okay, close. Oh, you're all, you may only you are you sure you're only getting two inches because you get all that lake effects now. They told us four. Oh, she's getting four inches of snow, and and uh, Brenda's getting Brenda's sending my way two inches of snow, and then Brenda's getting snow. That's it. I should stop complaining about the rain because at least it's not snow. <laughs> See, Kathy, do that. For, I had, when I was uh, in grade school, one of my teachers used to do silk screen and do different things with that. It kind of reminds me of, of that type of deal where you do the silk screen printing. Oh, yeah, when you spread the uh, paint across, that's cool. Yep. Yep. Okay, now what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm going to use this. I thought this might make good seaweed. She's using her Mambo Jumbo plate. Is that your giant one? No, that's just the 12 by 14. All your snow is melting. Oh, I'm glad we don't have snow. I really like how that looks. Hmm. <laughs> I really like that. Yep, three, meetings three meetings in a row. That's good. All right. And my little girl on here that I did. All right. So here's the nice paper. Don't press it too hard. Okay, so here it is with the art foamies. Okay. And this is actually more of a teal than how it looks. It has a little more green cast to it in person. Now with this. See if I can get this up with all right. So question is do I want to use a matte medium to put these down or do I want to use tape? That's so why I got um, I want to use like roll like a like roller tape or dots or do I want a matte medium them down? But can you put those down? Do you all see? I want to hold this up. Can you see the? Oh, the glittery stuff. Yeah, this is the gloss. Uh, Dina Wakely gloss. Uh, Dina Wakely white spray. And on top of the Neo too. I'll use the baby wipes and rub back and then um, spray the. It through. Look at that. I love her. I mean, does that look great on the top of the, I think it looks cool because it's shiny, but then the, the Neos again are flat. 
Yes, I love that shiny flat contrast. Yeah, I really do too. And I really like, of course, you know I like this side more than this side. <laughs> <laughs> I like, of course, this rainbow effect, so that's why I did it. But I I like these colors, all these colors, but my favorite is always going to be turquoise. So, mm, I don't know what's going to be best. I really don't. I don't know. Um, try. Maybe try one and maybe do one of each and then see which one works better. Because do you think, I wonder, is the matte medium going to be a little bit more? Matte medium will lose. I think do a really thin layer. Fine. That's true. I will lose. Um, that's true. So maybe, maybe the, the gloss. Yeah, maybe do one of, or yeah, try the gloss for a change and see what happens. All right. This is this is where I'm unsure. Like we need to figure out how we can put the because I also could use. I mean, I could simply use glue stick, or I could simply use. Um, I could, but I think this is going to show through. Yeah. And I also could use glue dots. Um, oh, and why vellum glue dots? You could do Debbie, all, I also oh, yeah, could, you can do the tape runner. Debbie thought soft glue. What do you think about vellum? Or I could, I kind of yeah. want it. Yes, yeah, so try the vellum glue dots. Let's try this and then just see how around it works. the um, just around the edges. Let's see how this would work. These are ancient. I will honestly say that these are ancient. The vellum glue dots. I don't even remember when I bought them. Oh, probably old scrapbooking days. <laughs> that probably sounds about right because I don't. It's uh, whenever vellum was popular. Yeah, I've got yeah, I have the vellum tape runner. And Did it come back in? You know, vellum and all that. It all comes back eventually. It all comes back in style. But um, I had like the Anna Griffin. Um, vellum paper. I still have my Tim Holtz uh, one I kept. Oh, Lordy. Should Tom do this? I don't like having to peel these apart because I got to be able to see. Oh, even, this is even, even with bifocals in my glasses, it, it's, it's still hard. It's a bitch getting old. Like threading the needle on my machine, I think yeah. that's like the hardest thing I do is is threading it. And even with bifocals, prescription bifocals, and everything, it's it's still a struggle. Oh, Nana's got a dry socket. Oh, Mary Beth, I'm so sorry. I don't know if I've had that. I've had a lot of dental issues, and I don't know if I've ever had that. So how did okay. you? Knock on wood, I've never had one. No, I don't know how they treat it. Yeah, you haven't had that either? See, I haven't either. Oh, well, I can't get it, so we're going to try to soft gel because I can't get it separated. And I don't what do they do for a dry socket? i two hours doing it. Okay, that's a good one. Oh my gosh, I, I, CB, you're right. <laughs> you guys are told. <laughs> you're as young as you feel, right, CB? I was just teasing you yesterday. Yes, yesterday uh, was CB's birthday. There's a lot of April and May birthdays in our art group. Oh, wait, since we weren't on, let's sing happy birthday to CB. <laughs> Alexa, okay. sing happy birthday to CB. <laughs> you have happy birthday enabled. Do you want to open it? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Now, for some reason, the one across the room went, Alexa, sing happy birthday to CB. You have happy birthday enabled. Do you want to open it? Oh, my God. Yes. Who would you like me to sing happy birthday to? CB. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear B. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I have an idea. Do you want me to get the dogs to sing happy birthday to you? Sure. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear yes. Happy birthday to you. I have an idea. Do you want me to get the cats to sing happy birthday to you? Yes, but if the cats sing it. Uh-oh. I'm not sure happy birthday can do that. Say Etsa to quit, or just say, sing happy birthday to and then the person's name. Quit. <laughs> so use happy birthday. Amazon recommends another popular education and reference skill called NASA Mars. Want to try it? No. Oh I'm my, she's so annoying. Um, I was doing it with yours. So I had to mute it because it was going to have conflicting uh, speeds of happy birthday. So mine didn't add her name into it. Oh, and, and uh, I guess she translates CB into dear B. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> she has lost her mind. She never listens to me. <laughs> She'll say, like, I'll tell her to turn off the lights. And she's like, I don't think I can do that. I'm like, yes, you can. I say it again. And she does it. So, ooh, I just want to pick all these crusty bits off, but I won't. Okay, so what did you use to glue the, um, the tracing the paper down? The soft gel is working very nicely. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, good. Good, good. Yeah. And, and, uh. It is a gloss, so it's not going to get rid of the, and, and, the, and again, it won't get rid of, uh, oh, I'm having smearage with the black. Okay, I didn't think about that. Okay, hold on. Here for what pen you use on top. I'm gonna oh, make sure okay. I don't activate that. I didn't know what I was doing with them when I started. Let me wipe off the, some of the smear here. That is the black pen. So if you do like I did, just take and don't get the matte medium on the top. Just keep the matte medium on the back of the tracing paper where you don't have the ink. I pour flour. Get smeared. I wasn't thinking about that. I was just trying to get the petals to stay down. Um, all right i'll just have to fix it all right so here's that i put my other girls down She is. She's a stubborn girl, Andrea. She's supposed to be helpful, but she can be stubborn. Ooh, I'd love it if these bits came up. I was watching Joy of Lot or Joy of Sharing yesterday. Uh -huh. And she was doing a they were doing a pick prompts from sticks. And uh, on their blog, I think they have what the prompts they use. And um oh, forgot about the ink after I just said that. Um they they did those and anyway. Um, they were using markers and pens and doodles and stuff, and it turned out super cute. So I, I really liked it. Oh, fun. Um, and when I, she was doing that, I was thinking she, of your, she wasn't using pastas, but it made me think of the pastas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love my Paskas. I took my Paskas to bed with me last night. 
<laughs> no, I took the whole thing upstairs and I did some. I was kind of playing and drawing with them. It was fun. But I love that case because I can just pick it up and take it anywhere with me. That is nice. Isn't that cool? Kimberly, I used, um, what did I use? I used that green gold color shift. Green gold color shift with some blue denim and some paper artsy gold, which was very flat. As here's your different rooms, so we tried. Oh, I know. See, we have them, and then my son has one that he took with him. So his his um she'll, his will answer if she says. Alexa, but then it's hooked up to his account or something. It's weird, but he's like, don't talk so loud because it'll keep going off up in his bedroom, which is kind of funny. <laughs> you can just torture him with that all day long just for fun. Yeah, if he sleeps in too late, that's not a bad idea. Ooh, more crusty bits. Yeah, you can also do the room in the room, Alexa. So you can actually, yeah, have her go up and specifically go in his room and talk into her speaker. Oh, I should. We should. I should set his lights up as with Alexa and then just yeah, turn them on. You can go in there and I can use like an intercom system, and you can you can uh, you can go and call into into the other room to the other Alexa and speak through it. Yes, I did say I took my Paskas to bed last night, Brooke. Now, I took my case upstairs, and before I went to sleep, I um, I was I was drawing with my Paskas. It was fun. I was just saying I love that case because um, I can, um, I hate when I say that because uh, I can carry it all through the house with me. <laughs> now Cass needs to pay you a bed from Pascas. Yeah. That was funny. I love that. I love my house that Kathy drew and painted with the Pasca. It had a Pasca roof and Pasca pillars. It was so cute. It was so cute. And everyone was having so much fun throwing out uh throwing out ideas. Oh yeah, and I love Jean's lighthouse. That was perfect. Everyone had fun giving giving her ideas um, of what to put down, and she didn't see most of them, but it was it was still entertaining, though. <laughs> we were having fun. It was fun. Yeah, you guys, check out Kathy Arbor. She streams on Thursday at 1 o'clock, and she does some basic uh, art lessons, and then sometimes she just plays, shows different techniques. But um, she has a really fun channel. Yeah. Eh, not really thrilled with that. I'll do layering over this. Oh my God, that is kind of weird, I guess, that I said I went to bed with my Paskas. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking. Okay. All right, Helen, uh, put a link up to Kathy Arbor's channel. Thank you, Helen. This is going to be us when we can go uh, and they lift the bands and we can go out again. Oh, my God. I can't wait to go I'm out sorry. shopping and looking around. I can't wait to open a hair salon. I can't wait till they open a nail salon. My nails look so sad. I don't know uh, what order and what's going to be first, but um, right now I'm just like, open the, na open the hair salons. Please open the hair salons. Please, 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 please. Man, I was texting my hairdresser and I'm like, I miss you. My hair misses you. <laughs> So your Pasca purse, are you going to go get that? Oops. 
All right, so this is kind of shiny, so maybe I'll do a flat. Let's see what I've got. Okay. What? Uh, how am I making which which part of it? Um, I use a uh, technique by Amber. I think her name's Amber White. I'm gonna link her channel when I get when the video uploads. And I use um, gesso, and then Posca's. Uh, Poscas. Oh my God, because we're talking about Poscas. Neo 2s. And then I use, uh, wet them and spread the color out. And then I use some gloss spray through a stencil. And then this is tracing paper transfer. These, this is a tracing paper transfer. And this is a transfer. And then this is tracing paper with glitter, glitter gel on it and that I stamped on and then adhering it down. I don't know, but that's a good name oh, for it, oh, virus you, hair. Boy, I totally misread that. How are you doing? She didn't say, what am I doing? Sorry. How am I doing? I'm actually doing really good. I just like miss going my, going, we're healthy and well, and I'm thankful for that. But I'm, I just miss not be able to get my hair colored and cut. It's so thick. It's so thick right now. I, I just miss um, going hair. out, looking around, like just going out looking, you know, like just miss going out. Nothing specific, but. If I had the guts, I think I'd shave my head right now and let it all grow in gray. Oh, never. I know, but I won't. I'm just saying. Ooh, I, I wish I could. If I if I if I could shave it and it would grow back this long in like three months, I'd do it. But it would take too long to grow back. Yeah. And then I'd start over with highlights and stuff. Okay. All right, let's see if I can fix this. I used um, the golden soft gel and a magazine image. I adhered these down with it with this. Debbie's suggestion, and I used the soft gel, and I did a big piece this time. You can see it's crinkling. I'm gonna, and as soon as I'm done, I'm going to pull this off. We'll see how this looks. I used soft gel and a magazine on tracing paper. This one is a different brand of tracing paper, so this one seems to be curling a little bit more. So it might depend on the brand. The other one I used was a more expensive brand. So it might depend on the quality of your paper, which kind of makes sense because the quality of the paper is always in any case and that makes a difference. Oh my gosh, Debbie, your hair is almost to your waist. Really? I didn't realize that. I thought you, for some reason, wasn't your hair short just a couple years ago? Her and Dee Dee then have their super long hair. And so does uh, Laura. She has really long hair. Okay, I'm liking that better. See how I've got the shiny with the matte on top? Yeah, I love doing that. I love combining. Yeah. Ooh, and then all the crusty bits. Oh, I like that one. Three years ago, you cut it about an inch all over. Okay, that's what I thought. So in three years, it grew down to your waist? Oh, yeah, Janet does too. That's right. Janet has super long hair. I'm done with this. I'm happy with this. This is fun. 
this is really i really like making the background the background was fun now you also could do is stamp on top of this draw stamp glue napkins whatever float your boat but this is super fun i'm gonna put myself i should put myself on so it'll be better but yeah so you can see the all the layers underneath and by using this it sees look at that i really like it and you, and this still stayed shiny now i have some smearage i got to fix but the glitter that the glitter gel that i put on the tracing paper that i showed you stayed glittery with the gel but watch the pen you use and this one is not the glittery. That was just a transfer. But that's fun. And I love the white. I love the pop of. I need to glue these down. I love some glue stick. But I, I love, love how that turned out. Hi, Kim. I like the background. It's just okay, fun. Kim wants to know what you did with the tracing paper, Colleen. Do you want to do a quick explanation? Which part? The transfer or the or the the stamping or the glitter part just go which, through the whole thing real quick like show like just say like how that all came together actually i did but i used neo twos i used neo twos crayons this is the way i use for the background yes Oh, Ryan, to try some things with it. Cool. Yeah, so this is, I used new color twos, and I did orange and green and blue, and then I took a baby wipe and a stencil, and I wiped some of it back, as you can see with the feathers, and then went in with a stencil and the gloss spray, and then uh, put tracing paper on top. So Neo twos are awesome. Um, put some gesso down underneath, put some gesso down, then put your Neo twos down because they will, they will, they will spread much faster and easier. And then let's come back. Now stickers are always like this. You're going to have to go into your glue stick and, um, make sure your stickers stick. <laughs> oh, thank you, Debbie. I'll read that out. Okay. Then you stamped. You stamped and added a layer of holographic glitter on some, and then you created a soft gel to transfer on the magazine to the tracing paper as well. All right. Yeah, so this was fun. So this is the tracing paper with the glitter. This is Extreme Glitter by Folk Art. There you go. And I just I just painted it on here and let it dry. And you could literally cut out you if you have a die cut machine, you could actually run this through your die cut machine and cut wings and stuff like that. You could use this in your die cut machine. You could use your punches to punch out. You could use stamping, drawing, stencils, and then add this to your work. And you can see the back stays dull and the top stays shiny but it's still see-through when you put it down which is fun this one i just did some stamping on the tracing paper so i have these to cut out this one i did stamp but then i did some jelly plating on top of it and underneath and then then i just took my extra spray from my stencil and laid it on top of her just for a grungy look she'll look good in a grungy journal and this is what we're going to do now and so I, we did a soft gel medium to put down and then lay down the make the image and then we let it dry and now we're going to spray it and try to get this off Yeah, the tracing paper is, it, it's really fun. I love um, the versatility of it. You know, you can also take your tracing paper, Kim, and put it through the printer. 
and you can take your digi images or your artwork. Take your artwork or your digi images. Here, I'm peeling it off. This is the transfer we did. And um, you can print, but what we were saying earlier is take some picture spray, like a temporary stick, and put it on a piece of computer paper, layer your, your tracing paper on top of it, and then put it on the, you know, the top sheet on your printer, you know, and then let it run through, and then it won't slide or get stuck. And then you can print your digi prints on tracing paper. Okay, you watching? Everybody watching? Do, 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 do. Check this out. No one watching? And this is a transfer with just soft gel gloss um, down on the top on the paper and then on the back of the magazine. And then I just let it sit. Now, see, it didn't take there, but that's okay. That's part of the part of the uh, grunginess, right? And it's pretty quick. Ta-da! Cool. Isn't that cool? I love it. And that's just, I love how thin it is now to use this collage. So if I do it this way, obviously this side's brighter, but my words are backwards. So if I'm going to use this side of it, I'm going to have to cover up the words. If you, that either I did add too much or not enough there that that pulled off. But that's the nature of this. But look how neat this is. And actually, I mean, like I said, the fact it's all like uneven makes it kind of cool. And that's what I use. And that's what I use. With these are brighter, like these are brighter images, but that's what I use with these girls. I did cut these out of a magazine and did a transfer onto the tracing paper and then used the soft gel to put them down. And then you then you see the background and you're seeing the background through it. I love that. You can feel like all the flowers, all the, the Neo 2s, and this one was just stamped on it with the, with the glitter, and you can still see through it. And you see all my background through it. Just enhances your page, but you're not covering up your, your background. Right, and then Debbie mentioned, too, the cool thing is you can use the side with the text. And then you see it, you know, the right way. That's true. If I flip it over and use this side, then I don't have to worry about it. Exactly. So I can use this side. Or okay. This which side. brand of, uh, uh, Pam wants to know which brand of tracing paper did you use, Colleen? The first, which, you know which one that is? The second time I used, because I think I'm out of the other one. I tried to get another one and I couldn't find it right now because of the shortages. Uh, this is um, trace uh, Hanson tracing paper, and the other one I used had it was um, the B fifty fifty grams or something. I think it was a little bit better, and I couldn't get this on Amazon, um, and I couldn't find it on Blix either. With the short, the other one I had, it had a like a red cover. I don't have oh, it. Okay. So I had to get this one. This one did curl a little bit more, but I think this number was a little different. I think it was 40 pounds instead of, I think it was 40 pounds instead of 25 pounds. And so okay, the, but the 25 is good because that's going to be a thinner paper. So you'll be, it's, it'll be sheer, I think. Yeah. So it did crinkle a little bit more. Oh, hi, Pam. I'm sorry. I missed that. Yeah, uh, golden soft gla gloss. She glued it down, let it sit and dry, and then she pulled it off. She did a gel transfer. You don't have to use gloss, but you do need to use a gel. It could be matte. It could be any brand, liquid tax or whatever you have. This is just what I have. And I have gloss if they make this with matte too and not gloss. Just get a use a gel for the transfer. And use a gel to actually that worked out really nice. The gel did to put it uh, to adhere that down on top of that page. I'm gonna see if I can get a little more of the paper off now. 
Make sure. Nope, it's not. I'm pulling off color. Let's see if I can get any more of the paper pop off. So yeah, it's super easy to do and fun. That's those turned out great. I just love how it looks. Yeah, it looks all grungy now. Doesn't you know? It looks um, what I don't know, like a magazine. I mean, because this is what was on the back, what was on there, and you know, on the back. You know, all this, you know, I mean, it just looks more. Oh, you said you can use the back for um, use that back for collage paper now. No, oh, I was gonna throw it away. She caught yeah, me. Yeah, don't throw that away. That was the back. Okay. I'm going to try to stick this on. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. She, I was going to throw it away, and she stopped me. So there's a the transfer, soft gel transfer on the tracing paper. And if you don't use words, you won't have the issue with that. I just happened to pick that one. Okay. okay. Or if you don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Let's do this real quick. Let's just put down. We'll put down the Neo 2s without the. Um, I'll put it down without the wall, well, without the gesso, so you don't have to watch me put it down and dry it and all that stuff. See, it works. See, it doesn't go as good as it did with the gesso, but it is spreading. But it's just not. It's not spreading as easy, but it's spreading. So if you use gesso, you will get you will get rid of these crayon marks for sure. But I think I can if I dig at it. Yeah. But look how Neo2s are really highly pigmented. So you can see, like, I did a little bit of scribbles and a little bit of water, and my whole page now has got color that quick. And, uh, but they're not permanent though. So they, they're not permanent, just so you know. Let's do this. I lay this down while it's so wet, just for the fun of it. Is what we peeled off, and I almost pitched. Stopping me, I get ready to wad it up and throw it away. Wow, that's great collage stuff. Oh, Jack. That would be Jack and my son bar barking. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. Her son is barking. <laughs> he went outside. He didn't know I was streaming. <laughs> <laughs> that's my son and my dog barking. I'm sorry, but that's not something you hear every day. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't my husband. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> happens sometimes too. Oh my God. <laughs> I know, and Kevin. Oh, thank you. That was funny. Like, did I actually hear her say that? I did hear her say yep, that. You did. It's crazy town. <laughs> I did not dry my uh, Neos underneath. I, I I could have, but I did not. So, Right, Dark Kevin encouraging Jack to bark, yes. Oh, my God. All right. Okay. It's just See, this is so different for me. Everybody's like, oh, I feel so isolated. I'm used to being here all day by myself. Nice and quiet. Nothing gets messy. This has been a circus. <laughs> but it's fun. It's good to have everybody home, but it is different for me. All right. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> chilly. Your husband and your dogs are getting on your nerves these days. Yeah, it happens. When that ha I just go take a ride. I'd go take a drive. Hey, did you answer how long did it take to dry, Colleen? The match gel and this only it only took maybe ten, five, ten minutes. At oh, that's most. not bad. Yeah, I let it on there a little bit longer while I was finishing the page, but it only took about five. Now it's starting to dry. It's more clear. It was still a little hazy before. Um, that's kind of cool. Cause part that peels. So you can see my hand through it still. I mean, that's the advantage of the tracing paper transfers. You can still see your hand through it. So, I mean, it's still, it just has a see-through fun. I love that. Because usually when you transfer an image, it's done on a, a journal. Um, right, paper, it's going on to a flat piece of paper. That's plate. so pretty. Yeah, enough fun and and just grunginess. I'm sorry, Colleen, if I keep talking over you. I don't mean to interrupt. <laughs> That's okay. It's only one person that got found it to, to be rude about uh, that. All right. It's with the internet speeds. And yeah, I, I feel bad though. Yeah, it happens. And I'll, I feel like the, um, or women, we like to talk. I know. I mean, I talk over people in person, so <laughs> that's <laughs> not a good thing, but I'm just, just saying. Okay. okay. I'm going to just push some of this back. That's stuck to it. Uh oh. Oh, oh that was, how funny is that? Because it wasn't dry yet when I put it down. I was Did like, get it off. Oh, good. It's coming off. Wait, but look. Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Someone's sticking my stencil, giving me some, making it more grungy. Because oh, it, it was cool. actually really perfect before. Okay, hold on. Okay, I'm going to have fun with this. I'm going to have fun with this. Oh, well, that's cool. Hold on. Remember I said, like, uh, go with the flow. I'm going to have some lightning bolts for my wrinkled uh, my wrinkled calendar page in my fish book. Yep. Hold on. I just think you were just going to throw that away. I was going to throw it away. I was just gone. Because it wasn't dry. I didn't dry it before I started going in with that. I don't like to wait. But now I did that. It's like a, it's more beat up. Ooh, this is fun. Oh, isn't that fun? You transfer it onto the tracing paper. And then what you peel off the the backing you peel off the tracing paper transfer, then you can use it in a journal, the back side. Yep, that is cool. And you have this grungy, this grungy, this would be good for junk journals, the uh, altered books, scrapbook pages, or art pages, art journal pages, whatever. What are you working on? Oh, that's fun. Okay. Hey, look. Okay, here. Look, it's on my stencil. <laughs> uh, is there a way for me to, to transfer it off my stencil onto something? Can I make this even I don't know. more cool? I don't know. I like to, I'm, I feel like Lena right now. I'm like, let's see. Let's see. Let's try. Oh, the, the mad scientist Lena. The crazy yeah. answer. Hey, where was Lena? I saw her earlier. What's she up to? Lena, um, are you working? I don't think she said what she was up to. I thought I saw her at the very beginning. But then I was also half asleep, so who knows?
So it's like a twofer. <laughs> this is a twofer. So you transfer, do you transfer onto on the tracing paper, which is so much, I think, nicer than just white paper. It's so, and it feels good too. Like it just, I don't know. I love it's that. It, it's flexible. You can use this as a tip in. Okay. Because the back side looks cool. My fingers are wet, so I just got wet again. And then you can take your magazine that comes off of it and glue the sucker down and use it in its center instead of the paint showing through. Oh, I love that. And now the paint show the paint shows through because this is a thinner, you know, half the thickness it was and it was a magazine. Here's the rest of it. This could be fun um, with flowers. Oh, yeah. I would get a flower magazine and uh, do that with a flower magazine. That could be fun. You know what else would be cool? Doing the, um, the beeswax collage over it to put it down in the journal. Mm, that's true. You love a two for one project bonus. Oh yeah. That was fun. And then I can see on the paper part of your stencil, I think. Are those yep. little circles from the stencils on your paper? Or yeah. What is that? I like that. That's fun to do that technique with the Neo 2s and the and, and the baby wipe. That's a fun technique. And you could do that with, I know you can do it with acrylics too, if you catch it before it dries too fast, you know, before it dries, but it's super easy with the Neos. And I don't use my Neos. So I was excited to to use my Neos. So I also could do is take the stencil on my Neos and rub color back in. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Have some fun with that. This is sticky. Now, I will say the difference between the soft gel and the matte. Well, this is gloss, so too. I don't know. I don't have the matte. But until it dries, this is a bit sticky. But once it dries, it's not sticky. Like this is no longer sticky now, but it was sticky when that. Ah, it was sticky when I first put it down. So don't close your book till it dries. But once it dries, it's not sticky. Let's see. Ah, tearing your hair. Yeah, I mean, don't you love that, you, you know, when you can take something out of your room and, you know, use it for a new... Use it for a new purpose. Right, just something you weren't even thinking of. Yeah. Happy accidents. Right. I was thinking this last night. Now, the, the, the transfer was, I'm sure uh, it maybe has been done before. I'm not going to say I invented it, I created it, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to say that I, I did this last night and it's the first time I have seen it and the first time I have done it. I can't say that. Uh, others have not done tracing paper transfers. Oh my God, everything's out there. We've all, yeah, and you know, stuff you come up with, what you're inspired by, and then what, what you come up with, and then make it your own. Exactly. And so I took Amber's, uh, I was using Amber's uh, technique for the background, and then used the tracing paper um, experiments as my own technique or whatever on the front. Uh, again, you can only invent the wheel once. So, Kathy and I, we've been looking through some of our older art books, you know. And oh my seeing, gosh, all the older, the old uh, altered books and stuff. Yeah, all the techniques that you know we we used to do, but haven't you know forgot about or whatever and how we have different products to do these things now but you can still you can still use you know get inspiration from those yeah 
So it's like it's new. Everything old is new again. Oh, I like that. Everything old is new again. I love that. And I think I got that from TV somewhere, some commercial. <laughs> <laughs> but, it sounds, but it's true. Though. It sounds good. It sounds very good. Although they did, I divert these did not have glue underneath them. I laid them right onto the Neo 2s and then I put the stencil and, and that is why they came off on my stencil because I did not put the uh, soft gel underneath these. Yeah, and that is correct. That is why it stuck to my stencil when I pulled it off. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Do what I say, not as I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jilly likes the saying 50 is the new 20. Then that oh, means yeah. 60 is the new 30. I could go with that. I like that. So I actually had fun going through my stamps last night, looking for stamps to, you know, uh, put on my tracing paper. And I think that was actually uh, fun too, because I, I grabbed some old border stamps and stuff that I haven't used. Oh, and cool. I, and I stamped them coming out of the, the jar stamp. And then I just made this up on the fly with some stamps I had. And I, Again, like these are kind of like it's like re um, visiting your old friends. They've been collecting, you know, you use them when you first get them and, and oops, okay, blur, and then, um, and then you kind of forget I about it. To use them, yeah. And that was the that was the fun part, was um. Too, was last night I was like I used like this is a, a wood stamp this is um, this was a stamp from um, trying to think uh, Dina wake Dina Dina uh, no Dina Reevely the word stamps and oh, then okay. yeah and then these were ones that I bought a long time ago from um, Alyssa Burke she had some uh, stamps that I bought for her on her website like years ago. Oh, she has stamps? I didn't even know that. Yeah, she had stamps years ago. And you had to like cut them out and stuff. But like, yeah, they were, I bought a ton from her. And um, and these were part of, part of her stamps I bought years ago. And I broke them babies out. So, yeah, I think, I think that, you know, I was, it was, you know, exciting and to to use your new stuff or old that? old stuff in a in a in a mix in a, a technique into it you haven't used in a while and yeah, oh, I love this. I mean, oh yeah, because what you originally bought them for is completely different than how you can use them now. Yes. Not to glue those down. Those are going to drive me crazy. So now let me dry this and then I can go over top of this with some markers. It does sound like a country western song. <laughs> <laughs> I totally agree. Yeah, like this is a uh, stamp by Unity. Um, this is an old uh, Donna Downey stamp. And this was the quote that was with it. And like I said, this was three different um, people's stamps. I don't know who made the jar stamp. Um, I'm going to go and grab my... I'm going to grab my, um, what are they called? The ones that Debbie uses, the uh, Faber Castell. Yes, Debbie, old stuff in a new light. Oops, oops, oops.
Okay, I'm just jelly plating away here. I think I've got about 50 jelly prints while Colleen's been doing that. Yeah, tracing paper is great. Pit pens. Yeah, Debbie loves her pit pens. Yeah, I should get my pit pens out. I haven't used those in a while. Yeah, I could visit the, the uh, what's the song? Hello, my old friend or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> visit my oh, old friend. Simon and Garfunkel? Yeah, that's Sounds it. Sounds of silence. Sounds of silence. Yeah. I'm visiting my old friends again. My my lonely old stamp sitting over there and being Hello, ignored. Art supplies, my old friend. Oh, that would be a great journal page. Hello, art supplies, my old friend. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. I'll, I'll do that on the. I'll do that as a title on my other one. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to. Yeah, I love that. I love that album. Yeah, these were. Um... Yeah. <laughs> you wish, Debbie. <laughs> now these were some. Now these were my. Um... <gasps> Oh, there it goes, Desert Nana. I've come to color you again. You can, Colleen, you're going to get like a whole thing to write on your journal here. I come to color you again. Let's see. Hello, my old, hello, stamp, my old friend. I've come to color you again. Oh my gosh, I got to write that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good. I almost dropped myself, Joe. That would have been bad. Would be the first time I made a big mess. Okay, let me write that down. I scoot my crap out of the way. <laughs> I know, but it wasn't a downer. It turned out fun. Let's see. I'm going to write that down. Hello. It's all yeah. how you perceive it. My old friend. I've come. I've come to color. You again. I love this. <laughs> I'll color you again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you did no way Papa was saying she did a collage to that page to that song already seriously oh you gotta show it you gotta yeah. post it on ig oh i got yeah i need i need to see this Hey, this is also my favorite castells. I don't use these very often either. So this is another old friend. <laughs> oh, the pit pens. The pit pens. The Brad Pitts. And these are awesome because they last forever. They don't dry out like other markers. So I will that I love these because they don't dry out. Um like like I said, you get other markers, they'll dry out and they're done. I want to give her some, some blue, fun blue hair here. This one's lighter. Is that not the same? Hold on. I think I heard either I saw it in chat or something. Don't quote me. I don't remember exactly where. They're going to stop making the fat ones. So if you like the fat, uh, the fat pit pins. I, my my advice is to stock up. Oh, I hadn't heard that. I do have a set. I should go through and make sure they all work and pick them up if they don't. Yeah, they're going to stop. They're going. I think they're going to only. I think they're discontinuing the fat ones, or is it the skinny? Let me think. I thought it was the fat ones. I think they're going to just have the skinny, and I might be discontinuing the fat ones. Yeah, because the skinny ones come in so many colors. I think you can. It's 60 is the big set. Yeah, Karen Thompson. She, uh, Karen, Christy Tomlinson, I'm combining names, did use, show us how to use pit pens. That yes. is correct. That is when, and I brought the chubby ones because she always used the chubby ones. Yep. Yep. She did. It's always Christy Tomlinson and Xanadu. I'm telling you, she needs. I hope that she gets, she would be well and she could come back. I know. I love her. I These love her, her stamp girls. 
these were Christy Tomlinson stamps, and she did this with uh, this Andy guy, and then um, they did some stamps. Now this one is this one is a uh, Alyssa Burke. I have Alyssa Burke ones that are like flowers and stuff. These uh, the stitches now are the stitches Alyssa Burke. I could be wrong. These could be Christy Tomlinson. Oh, I have them. Cool. I those have them mixed. They're my old friends. <laughs> so let's see this. Let's do this. Let's do a background stamp with them. We'll show you how fun. These are fun. Is she, Debbie? I'm so glad she has a memory. She's right. Her and I love to Christy. She's still alive. Don't give me. I'm not saying past. I'm just saying she doesn't. She doesn't do uh, mixed media anymore. Oh, that does work. Hold on. Let me get brighter color. And she used pit pens, and that's why I bought them was her. Oh, there's also the song, Dar Said Hello, Old Friend by Eric Clapton. Okay, Eric Clapton. Okay, so there's a couple old that friends one. songs. That one I'm not... Oh, I'm sorry. Johnny's trying to get my attention. Yes, yes, sorry. I know the fat ones are super useful, Andrea, and I think they're going to discontinue these. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Okay, hey, Colleen, your package will be delivered Saturday. Mine comes Monday, and she made a digi set of ledger cards if we want to play along. Cool. That was really nice. Thank you so much. Oh, Saturday. All right, peoples. Happy mail's coming Saturday, which is tomorrow. Because I keep forgetting what day it is with this whole not have a routine anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. We had this discussion yesterday. We have to wear our, our underwear with the names on it. What day is today? <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah, Pit Pins was definitely Christy Tomlinson. It always comes back to Christy Tomlinson. And Xanadu all the time. Xanadu and Christy Tomlinson. Like she was just huge to me. And I'm glad she reminded me that's why I bought these. And I bought um I bought her stamps. I bought her um her I have her paper, which I, I just I just pet. I bought two packs of paper. I have her rub ons. Yeah, I bought whatever she made, I bought it. I needed, if I got into planning, <laughs> I would buy all her planning stuff. Jersey said she, but that's one of the ladies who's good at, at embroidering would uh, do a set of underpants. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Embroidered underpants days of the week. Okay. okay the fat ones are different are slightly different brand really no they're still faber castell aren't they i mean they say they are or they're not pit pens they're labeled something else it says pit unless they're they got the same name but they are manufactured differently Now I want to wait and see what she's going to say, because now I'm like, what? Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm just catching part of that conversation. I think she used a paintbrush to put the gloss gel on. I did use a paintbrush. Thank you. Sorry I missed that. I use a paintbrush. Um, uh, I use a paintbrush over top of the uh, Neo twos. Yep, I scribbled them on gesso crayons, Neo twos, and then I use um, just water and a brush and activate them. And then I and then I use the stencil and rub some back off. Yep, they. 
the year twos are awesome because they just melt and i don't use them that much and i i again i think you just i'm very spoiled and have a lot and i need to remember to use you know while i'm buying new stuff i need to remember to use my old stuff too because again there's nothing i mean the neo twos are awesome my favorite these are awesome the pit pins <laughs> remember to get them out Pop -pop I hers, hers has the right day on it so she's not embarrassed when the uh, ambulance driver comes <laughs> that's good incentive They have been all been along, maybe dissolving that section with the company. Hmm. Okay. That's sad. Because I actually like the chubby ones better. Because, you know, you can get like this, you can cover a stamp really fast with the chubby. Oh, great idea. The chubby marker, you know, like versus. Oh my gosh, team. I could do that with my big Poscas. Oh, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh my God. Get to it. You're going to have to clean yours, though, because it's acrylic. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. That's true. Where I can just take the pit pen and, you know, wipe it right, right back just off. Just wipe it. Yeah, so I've got a little. Maybe I won't do that with my Pascas. <laughs> as long as you're fine with cleaning them off. I knew I had some more somewhere. Okay, so this is uh, the rest of my. This was Christy Thomason. She had paper that matched this. Oh, this was a cool one. This is. Um, oh, I have that. This is Alyssa Burke. So you have some. Yeah, that's, I do have some. Because that's Alyssa Burke. And then um, all these were Alyssa Burke's the feathers, flowers. These are all Alyssa Burke. She has a website, by the way, and classes and everything. You can look her up, AlyssaBurke.com. She has classes and all kinds of good stuff. And her prices are really reasonable for her classes, too. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram. She's just, she does cool. I like her art. It's very cool. I have two classes I need to take with her that I signed up for and for like 10 bucks and one was pastel dreams and the other was a palette knife class and it was 10 bucks for a palette knife class and well, that would be fun yeah and I need to do that because I signed up for it I haven't taken the time to go take it and because I love the palette knife that was fun when we made the again the visit, revisit an old friend is the palette knife <laughs> oh, when we streamed with Lena and she was showing us how to use a palette knife. That I loved that. That was fun doing the doing the cityscape. Um mine did, yeah, I wished I think I would like to have done a little like less towers and more like buildings, but again, but I'm still really proud of what I did. Yeah, that was fun for the first time. I mean, I'd never used a palette knife before to do it. I've never done like a whole piece with it other than, uh -huh. you know, using it to like, you know, apply things down. Let's see if I can spin my, you know, this whole time. I'm so sorry. Why didn't you tell me you weren't on camera? If I forget, please just let me know. Oh, that's okay. I've just been, I've done like 50 jelly prints. Over, no, roll my camera up. Do you see it over there? I proudly display There's bandit pants. Oh, out. Colleen, that's so cool. I proudly display my uh, my my palette knife sitting thing that looks like towers. I proudly display that on my easel I got for Christmas. So, and I'll leave it up here because I really like it. I love it. Mine's in my art journal. Mine's in an art journal. I love that. Yep. I was proud of that. I like it. Oh, you have wheels on your easel. That's what yeah. I need to do. They're not, it's nice because I can move it over here and out of the way. Use it to display the canvases on and all that good stuff. There's Mr. Van that passed out. 
<laughs> oh, I need to see if I can at easily attach them to mine because I've got I'm lugging mine all over the place. Harbor Harbor Freight has wheels that you can um, drill. Like it's like it has a knob on the end. You know what I mean? Like uh -huh. and, yeah. So why that could be a project for your son and husband? Harbor Freight might be open because. It might be considered a necessary business because it's tools. No, Colleen, you don't. You don't know my husband. He's he's he doesn't do that. <laughs> oh, he's not. No, like you know how he doesn't cook and calls DoorDash. No, he he calls somebody. Did I call someone. Ah, it's just okay. not his thing. I mean, when we were younger, we used to do all that, but now it's like you can afford to hire people. Exactly. I don't yeah. have time for that. You know, which what? is fine. I don't. It doesn't bother me. But it's funny. My son might do it though. Yeah, like you just go and uh, you can buy the wheels at Harbor Freight because I know I had a tool a tool bench. And I had Tom do that. I, he drilled holes and he put it, the wheels on it. And, he, and I used to use it in my art room. And then I quit using it. And he took it for the garage. And then he can roll it around the garage. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Thanks, Debbie. I can, I, I can do I know I can do it. Oh, I need to get a drink. Goodness gracious. Yes. Ooh. Oh, good. You can order them online. <laughs> Ask you how you know. <laughs> Bye, Carolyn. <laughs> I think I, I think I've done stuff from them too, Debbie. Oh, but she, I didn't think she was in a bad mood. Caroline, sorry, I'm get in a nasty mood. Oh, I'm sorry, Caroline. If we were, I wish people would answer if we were. You know what, Caroline? Go okay. back and watch. If you have questions about the uh, about what we did, this is one of those streams where I know I'm going to have to go back and watch because these aren't tutorials. We just kind of say, okay, here's what we're going to do, and we may end up somewhere else. Like I can't even remember how how I did or what we did today. So this will be one of the streams. Oh, okay. yeah. How did she do that? Or is it just water? I don't know if she was talking to me or you. I missed that. I don't know. But Debbie, thank you. I know she had, she had a lot of questions about what we were doing, and um, we've. It's hard when you're working on something. And like ours isn't a set tutorial where we can go back and say like, okay, I did this, 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 and that. I mean, really, I'm going to have to go back and watch how I did yeah, stuff. Yeah, I didn't know she was, I, I admit, one, I missed it because I was walking over to my canvas. There is a delay on um, between, on YouTube and yeah. um, stream it. there is a delay. So we see it when, after you type it in, we see it later. Yeah, it's hard. And I'm sorry we missed it. I don't know if she was referring to you or me with the water. Okay, when she put the crayons in the paper, what were you using on the paint brushes? I'm trying to think. She put the crayons in the paper. Was it um, was it clear or what? Oh, was it the um, the glitter rific stuff by Folk Art? Oh. Was it the so glitter? That was, on, that was, uh, that was not with the crayons. That the the glitter was with the uh, just straight onto the paper. But I just used the uh, just I just used water with the neos. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That makes sense now. Yeah, you just uh, dip your paintbrush in water and run it over the neos. Thank you. Oh, okay. She didn't understand what they were. Yeah, it was the Neo 2s. You put dip the paintbrush in water and they'll blend because they're water soluble. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, the uh, I guess, it, yeah, the Neo 2s are like, uh, you can also just take your Neo 2s and dunk it. And oh, yeah, you can take a wet paintbrush and uh, what the I'm sorry, Carolyn. I really am. I know. I really am. She wasn't being crabby. She's fine. No, no. Thank you for being. No, that that never bothers Just keep us. Typing it in being persistent. We'll figure it out. And you can also dip it, you know, and like I just dipped this in water 
like dunking it in my dirty water over here and you can do that. <laughs> you can do it dry and a wet brush. And also what Dee Dee will do is when she's, she'll just do this when she wants to like control it. She, she wets the Neo too. And she just uses this like, uh, like this on her coloring books, but you can also scribble and then wet it with water. You can also do it dry and, and just leave it dry. I don't know if you can smear these because they're not oil. I guess you can't smear these because they're not really oil. Yeah, so yeah, you can just dunk it. I know I have to go back on Tuesday because Brooke was doing something with, what did you say, flow, flow aid or something? We can leave it. I didn't even know what Colleen was talking about. I'm like, what? She was. Yeah, it's so, so you, can, yeah. Yeah, you can dunk them, you can, you can just do this, and you can paint with them. Neo 2s are, are really just like watercolor. It's not really, it's like a watercolor stick, but it's not considered that, but yeah, they're very versatile. Or you could do this, wait a minute, and you can spray them. Oh, you know what, Carolyn? That, no problems. It, Don't it, even... Don't hesitate. I would rather have somebody be persistent and keep asking. But okay. Um, okay. somebody I'm between Colleen and I and our mods, somebody will always figure it out for you. No I am worries. sorry. If you have questions and I'm rushing, just keep asking it. Put it in caps. I won't get mad. Oh, yeah. That's another thing. Carolyn, did you know, put the, when you're talking to us, put them in caps. It's not yelling. Yeah. So Did you, you use regular crayons yeah. too? No, because they're not water soluble. Yeah, regular crayons are oil based. They're oil and yeah. you can smear them. But these are these are water. It's called. Let me hold this up so you can see it. it is water soluble wax pastel? So there's a difference between water soluble and not. So water soluble wax, where a a regular crayon is is wax. And, and there's this is water soluble. And some work better than others. The Neo 2s always work. Um, there's Marabou's. There's I would recommend if you're going to want to try these, I would recommend getting, there's a little box of them with like eight. Yeah, colors. they are kind of pricey. And start with that, the small box of them. Of course, that's blending with my blue, but I mean, start our uh, green. Oh. Um, start with the, the small box of them. There's like eight and, and, and try them and don't get the big kit until you try the small one and see if you like it. And they sell these, a small box, these, and like I said, an eight and, yeah. um, these can, you can use these for your coloring books, water. This is mixed media paper, not watercolor paper. Um, I, I mean, I would just say it's like a lot of other mediums. If you get these, just have fun playing with them. They have a project you don't care about like this. You could do this. Hi, Jilly. See you later, Jilly. You could just take this and I can just do this. Look, flick it. I mean, I think it's, this is um, a product that you might even come up with a technique um that i would that i haven't thought of or someone else hasn't thought of um yeah popo the, the tim holtz distress crayons are water soluble there's a lot of different brands out there just look for water soluble they could say water soluble crayons they could say water soluble okay. pastel yeah you yeah, make sure it says water soluble and you can get cheaper brand than neo too so if you want to start with a cheaper brand, go for it. Or you can just get a small tin of the Neos. Neos are, I will say that Neos are more pigmented than the others, but they cost more. So do what's in your budget. See, now I've got my crayon wet. I can just, see, I did splatters with it. Then I can turn around and take with on my brush. So they're very versatile. Um, an oil one, the ones that are not water soluble, they don't really. They're meant to be like a top coat of top coat. Okay, I'm just flipping through, showing you what I did while Colleen was on. And this is what I do when there's extra room on the edge. I end up with a paper of just stripes, which is kind of fun to have. 
Okay, wax paper with the leftover bits of crayons. Oh, that's a good idea. How, where are you going to heat it up and iron it out or melt it? So do you see how it verse like you how you can use them and then, and then you could go in why this is wet and just I can go back in on top of this. Super fun. These are fun. They are fun. fun. That's what I said. It's like, now here is um oil. these are prima oil pastels. These are not water soluble. And do you see the difference? Yeah, the Neo 2s blend really well. You can't see it because I'm not on camera. So this is the oil. And they're really bold. You and you but don't watch when I take my brush. Oops, my brush has got orange. Wait a minute. They don't move. You still only see the orange. It's on my brush, but they don't, they don't move. Oh, it might be moving, smearing a little bit, but nice. that's the smear. You, these are more for top coats. So when your painting's done, or you can use these to make flowers or whatever. And these are more for smearing. And I like, I mean, oil pastel has their place. So like a lot of other mediums, but they are, they are not water soluble and they're more meant for, they're more meant for smearing. I know, and I made that mistake when I first started doing this. Was I got the the ones yeah. that weren't water soluble? Yeah, they're just the they're just like um, who? There's this one artist that always uses these on top. Um, but yeah, this is more of a top finisher. Or if you, you can do a whole piece in these, but I would do the entire piece with these. There's actually a. a different grades of this of course as well but you can see the how bold these are like this is red but this is this is really these are really bold but then again like it depends on what you want to do they're fun to play with i like all having everything to play with yeah i think i have something similar to those uh susan got oh she finally did a successful image transfer on her jelly plate doesn't that isn't that great when you finally get that it takes a while but it feels so good when you do it. Oh, uh, soup helps. You had some soup. Good. It said always type in caps. And, and if you see someone like a regular person, like someone who's a mod, like or blue. You, you might be able to answer like Helen, CB. Um, I don't see Eileen in chat, but you know, anyone who's a uh, mod has had generally had some experience. Um, and art can usually help you if we miss it, but yeah. So just so I hope that helps. So I'm ripping that out because that was just a play sheet. So I hope I hope that helps. And again, like yeah, we get um, get busy. All right. I'm sorry. I assume you know. I I shouldn't assume that everybody has seen Neo Two's. I shouldn't assume, or even uh, the pit pins, you know? So I should make sure I pay attention to that because I shouldn't assume that everyone has used these products. These are old hats to us, but I might not be to hey, someone Julie, else. there's Eileen. Eileen's probably been over there watching Dina Wakely. Fess up. Yeah, fess up, Eileen. <laughs> What's, Dina doing? What's Dina doing today? She's, she's watching Dina Wakely. She comes on during around the noon hour. Helen, Helen, <laughs> Helen said, oh, I thought she's over doing the Amazon pick three. <laughs> yeah, how many pick threes did you do, I think? <laughs> yeah, Eileen. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I really love the uh, image transfers on a jelly plate are so tricky. They are so tricky. Too much paint, not enough paint. You have to have the right type of image with contrast. It is tricky. I've had probably more fails than wins on the image transfers. Yeah, you know who really helped us a lot with that was Norma. I haven't Hopefully seen Norma Norma's around. Norma's doing good. I haven't seen Forever. her around. I haven't either. 
I know they've been, she was when all this started doing some uh, uh, redecorating and rehabbing at her house, I think. Ah, not a bad time if they're not busy at work to do the yeah. stuff. You know, work on the stuff that, well, you know, in this picture, this doesn't look green. It's where, you know, the light change there. Now it looks more green. I'm like, it doesn't look green at all on my camera. That's so weird. Um, that girl, that's a stamp, right, Colleen? The girl? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Carolyn. Again, don't feel free to ask. It just takes us a minute to see stuff. Um, thank you. And I hope you learned. I hope you try them. Like I said, I think you'll like to just get the small 10 of them and try them out. Um, oh, thanks, Carolyn. It is a stamp, Sandra. This is, up with us. this is a Unity stamp. Okay. Hey Colleen, I have a question for you. Okay. You know the um okay, you know the Dick Blick matte paints come in that um the containers so stiff. Are they stiffer than the the ones that the color shift come in? I can't remember. I don't remember either. Oh, okay. Okay. Because I really, I've, I've wanted those Blick mats for so long, but it's that container it is. that bugs me. Trying to get it. There you go. Unity. Unity Stamp Company. UnityStampCO.com is where I got these. They have really good stamps. Their stamps um, are very um, deeply edged. Like they're really deep, and I would say that's the difference. You know, like uh, Art by Marlene's are never that deeply edged, so they're hard to stamp with. Mm -hmm. These are really like deeply edged. So because it's like really carved, their stamps are all like this, and you get really crisp, good stamping because it's so deeply edged. And that's what uh, one of the things that I liked about their stamps. I thought this might have been um, a Donna Downey one. It doesn't have her name on it, but I could be wrong. But I thought Donna Downey, this could be. But oh no, I would have think thought Dina Wakely too. But it's similar, I guess. Looking at it, it wouldn't be Dina. I know this one's Donna Downey. I know the big ones. I have um, a Donna Downey for so right, like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. That one was not Donna Downey. I see it now. This is where I'm getting confused. This is Unity Stamp, and this is Donnie Downey Studios, and uh, this one, and this one's one of hers. So I have both. Some that are hers, and they're huge. You guys can see these stamps. They're almost as big as my book. Uh, Sandra just said she just remembered she has a big stamp like that. Oh, yeah, and it, yeah, isn't that funny? Like, you, as I said, it's like visiting your old friend, you know? Like, uh, when just when you start going, I'm like, yeah, I forgot, like, this is a Donna Downey. Like, I have, like, this is another giant one. Like, I, I have, all, I think I have all of her giant girl stamps. I have a lot of her um, quote stamps, and this one was, was Unity, but not Donna Downey. Not Donna Downey. Yeah, so, yeah, you kind of like... Uh, you forget. You get, get to using your other stuff, and then you're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. Oh, yeah. So that's me. So I'm going to do some sort of um, peacock. Uh, I'm planning on doing like a peacock type layout. I have some fabric. I have some rice paper and some stamps. I'm kind of going to make like, I was inspired by the cover of the art journal with, um, to try that. And I have the peacock napkin. And I think I'm going to do like some sort of peacock pages or mini book or something. That's on the back of my brain. I've been piling them into the other room. So the other thing we were doing, we were talking about um, um, 
on the uh, junk on the pick three earlier. And another thing you could do is just close your eyes and pick three different things on your desk. And um, where it'd be three different color paints, through three different Neo 2s or three different, you know, pit pens or a little bit of everything. And just pick what you have on your desk and then just make it work. And that, I think that's a fun technique for, especially if you want to, um, you don't know what you want to do. And kickstart your brain and you got to really think if you turn off your game. And that's what we were doing on the one. Oh, do pit pens smell? No. Pit pens no. don't smell. Yeah, there is no smell at all to a pit pen. Um, Debbie Ebbs, Deb Ebbs in chat, she likes to, um, she will collage and um, draw and paint. And she um, uses a lot of pit pens. And pit pens are um, permanent. They are permanent because um, they are India ink. I'll hold this up so you can read it. They are India ink. They are waterproof, maximal light fastness, and acid free. So these are nice because they're waterproof and permanent, and they're they're like and as excellent light fastness too. I'm gonna use this. These are not sticking. Yeah, so um, it's so when you put your pit pins down, and then there you can be confident. Now, not the Neo two that will reactivate, but I'm but you can you can layer these because they're like fastest. You can layer pit pins, and you don't have to worry about them. Um, if I throw some water on here, you don't have to worry about them moving. Yeah, and they um, you can layer your pit pins too. I think that's the appeal that Debbie likes to do. She likes to layer. She paints with her pit pens. Like she literally paints with them. Yeah, she likes, she does a lot of shading and stuff too with them. Yeah, like, like cool. the grays. Like you can come in here with the gray, you know, and uh, this is a good example because this is um, tracing paper, but um, she uses these for shading and stuff and she uses these like a, a paintbrush, really, I would say. I love this. This turned out awesome. I love how that turned out. Yeah, this there's a link out. to um there's a link to Debbie's channel too. Check her out. She's got a lot of good videos. And, yeah, it's and uh yeah, she she um will use her pit pens a lot. She uses them more than anybody I know, really. Yeah. Honestly. Um but she also does other things too, alcohol inks, um, alcohol uh, so, oh, alcohol ink. Oh, that was it. Okay, I'm just gelling away here. Okay, I could do this all day. And I probably will. I can't, it's still snowing. Snowflakes as big as quarters coming down. Distraction. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. If you go to Amazon, they have them there. Uh, they vary in price. Um, I'd say use a coupon, look for sales. They're a little bit pricey. Oh, thanks, Helen. All right, let's see how this comes up. Ooh, now that's the alcohol inks on the tracing paper. That looks awesome. I need another color. All right. Oh, you're getting sleet. Okay, that's we'll get that later. Because you're on, you're over on the west side. I'm on the east side. But it's going to be 50 here tomorrow, so hopefully everything will melt. Yeah, we're getting, yeah, they said four inches southeast Michigan. That's kind of cool. I'll leave a good one to stamp on. I use a lot of product. 
Don't use as much. No, Colleen. <laughs> you don't need to use as much as I do. I just use a lot of product. I'm going to use my finger because we're almost at the end here. We're, we're all have to get off because Barbara will be coming on. But um, it's still snowing by you, Brenda. Yeah, same here. I think we're right on the line, like the northern edge of it. Okay, Debbie, thanks for coming. Thanks for the help. Yes, thank you so much for the help and uh, suggestions. And traveling down memory lane. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Where is my... This is moving pretty good on here. I actually like the alcohol inks on the tracing. That paper. is working good. And it should... I mean, because this is kind of like a door lar, you know, where it's it's plastic. Didn't we, we did some of those that one day, didn't we? We didn't have stamps underneath it, but we did use the alcohol inks, I think, on the tracing paper. I know we had it on the glass scene. Oh, I like that. That's fun. Here's the back side. So if you don't like your front, you can flip it over and you can use this side. Or use this side, which I would do because I like it. But, and you okay. could also stamp on the back side and then put the color on the other side. You can also be neat about this. I'm just, I'm not being neat. You no, can be it's really, not, that's not fun. You can be very precise with this and your colors and what your colors you're doing. I'm just for, for uh, streaming purposes, just, just do going for it. <laughs> That's fun. Look, I'm giving her blue eyes. Oh, the blues are really pretty. And then what you can do while it's still tacky is you can take that foil or gold leaf and uh, little specks will pull off onto it. That's another good technique. Oh, that's true. I'm getting brown because my colors are mixing, making mud. Just FYI. If you don't want them to do, don't mix your colors. It still looks cool though, Colleen. She's like sad, so sad. No, I don't. There you go. But um, yeah, that's fun. This You're welcome, cool. Caroline. We all have those days, no problem. We do. We all have good days and bad days. Oh, Dorothy said she thinks the fairy needs some unicorn sparkles on her. Her? You know what I need? I'm too lazy to get my alcohol stuff to do this. Oh, yeah. Helen just posted the link, too. There's other live streamers and the times that they're on. Oh, thanks, Dar. Dar posted the link to the pit pens, too. Thank you. And Barb Owen will be on any minute. Um, I, I, she'll, I don't know what she's doing, but it's always fun now that's when you add the oh the flow stuff this is the uh, alcohol blending solution ah okay and when you add this in then you can move this around and play some more but yeah have fun and play you can just do this without a stamp by the way so it's oh yeah you can just do it on plain paper yeah plain plain uh tracing paper Yeah, and the nice thing about alcohol inks, like you can move them till you're happy. So if I want to clean off her face, there you go. So yeah, these even this works quite. These work. I tell you what, this is a lot less expensive than Duralar, and it moves easily too. Granted, she's kind of grungy, ugly, but it does work really nice. And cool. Super. Okay, that was that was a good, fun, quick experiment. Again, going for a quick experiment, not quality. <laughs> oh, Karen Tamir is doing another YouTube hop tomorrow. Oh, okay. Cool. That's fun. You can, uh, and they always put the links down at the bottom of the page, so you can um, you can follow that stream to stream. I hope everybody. Um, I hope everybody had fun today experimenting and learning 
and we answered questions and um, we learned some train. We did some transfers and stuff, and today was fun. It was fun. We did a lot of a lot of stuff, and I did a ton of jelly prints, which I needed to get. I need to to stock up again on my prints. All right, and the latest here, so everybody can see it, because the YouTube ended somewhere, and, and we're usually like where it ends. Okay, here. I'm gonna get my body out of it. Make sure it's just on here. I wanted to be on there so everybody could see what we did. Yeah, made. everybody, thanks for coming. Thank thanks guys. for You're for welcome. putting up with us. Hopefully, you had fun. I'm glad you got to, to tidy up. That's always good to do. Have company while you clean in your art room. I do that a lot. Yeah. Oh, she made homemade alcohol inks. Wow. Who made uh, homemade alcohol inks? Uh, Andrea. Cool. Oh, you're welcome, Caroline. Thanks for coming. Okay, everybody, hop on the bus, go over to Barb's, go Four eat lunch, go have a coffee, take Four a nap, whatever. All right. 4 p.m. to uh, Johnny comes on. Oh, thanks. Oh, I'm glad you played along, Peggy. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks, Flo. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Sandra. No nap, Eileen. Busy, busy stream day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Jersey. Bye, Sandra.